which one which one is the burping one which because yeah passing wind is farting what's the i do i i'm tweaking right now i can't remember which one is the burp and which one is pa passing wind is a fart what's the burp what is the burp one we'll never know it's kind of annoying i'm sorry <laughs> three two one <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the BNO stream today on this fine 15th of January 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, it's been raining in Sydney today. Uh, so if you're in Sydney, congrats, it's been raining. And if you're not in Sydney, hopefully it's raining near you so that I can relate on a spiritual level. My rain brothers, my rain sisters. I don't know where I'm going with on this. Uh... So, let me boot up the game real quick and stop embarrassing myself. Whoop! Here we go, here we go. Did I do it? Did I do it? Are we good? Hey, there we go. So, uh, yes! We're back to Quake 2. Uh, I hope you have, uh, enjoyed the previous two streams, and if you haven't, then... Those two streams, uh, let me adjust my mic. Those two streams cover the first, uh, well, of the game we have in the single player, Quake 2. And also I, I checked out the, uh, the demos in the other screen. We're going to be playing the first of the two expansions, both coming out in, uh, 99, I think. I think they were both 99. Uh, this is The Reckoning. We're going to play this on hard. This one is, uh, I'm going to look this one up. Because it starts off with a video, so this gives me time to look up details on Quakepedia. I don't know if there's new music, to be honest. I really need to actually look this one up. Because I've only played these expansions really twice. Once, way back in the day, and I didn't like it. And then I played it again as part of this expansion, and I still am like, mm. I don't, I don't vibe with these levels. Also, uh... Nice. So, uh, we got remastered cutscenes again. The audio is very quiet, by the way. I, I... <laughs> it will be adjusted in the VOD. If you're watching the VOD, it's, it's, it's adjusted. Uh, this one is developed by Yatrix Entertainment. Oh, 98. Sorry. 1998. This one's developed by your boys at Yatrix Entertainment. Best known for creating, uh, Redneck Rampage and Kingpin Life of Crime. We start off in, uh, the swamps, I guess. Actual swamps. Um... And, uh, our goal is to sort of just find our way. Uh, this, by the way, that item there, uh, which, uh, is in here, is a flashlight. This is only added in the remaster, this recent remaster, because uh, you're gonna go like, whoa, it had a working flashlight? But, uh, I think it'll actually really help, you know, the atmosphere and also the fact that this expansion does get kind of dark and kind of foggy. We're already off to a bat with our brand new enemy. These guys are kind of annoying because, also worst respawns I've ever seen right there. These guys are kind of annoying because they take like four shotgun shots. And they do that spitting, which doesn't deal a lot of damage. They probably got a name, but again, I don't know my enemy names. And they do explode as well. You're gonna have to deal with a bunch of them. Uh, but yeah, in general, uh, I don't know. I feel like these, there's a lot more monster closet kinds of level design in uh, this expansion. And you're gonna find generally just more enemies. Per, like amount of game and they swim as well I hope you you appreciate them swimming like look at this it's like what are you meant to do except hold back and hope for the best you know it, right there I'm, I'm gonna criticize you boys Yatrix I've never actually played the other two games that I mentioned there I've never played um, yeah you see what I mean this actually would be like real dark the flashlight helps the flashlight is actually a godsend for playing this, and hopefully, yeah, I think it comes out on stream pretty alright. Uh, it will reappear in the other expansion, I think. I think it's in the other expansion. And, uh, it definitely reappears in the, um, uh, in the, uh, machine games level, so don't worry. There actually exists as well a, uh, a, um, some extra maps, uh, which play through the first couple of levels in regular Quake 2 with a flashlight power-up there. Just nearly jumped off there. They're so far away, though. I don't mind these bits where you start off with the shotgun, though, but yeah. Um, but pretty much, uh, we're, we're looking for... This will be about half the length of regular Quake 2. 
Um, it might lean a little longer. We'll see uh, how we go. Because uh, especially if there's going to be levels designed like this, I swear. Um, but it consists of five units, technically six. The remaster splits up one of them into its own unit. So technically it's six, but uh, just think of it like five, because it sort of was like five. Um, and uh, yeah, it's Quake 2 with a couple more enemies and uh, I think some more items later on as well. Oops. Where am I going? I don't know. Uh, this expansion does not have any bonus levels, by the way. So, uh, what you see is what you get. Is he behind me? Or... Okay. Have you appreciated the variety in... The silence. The, the variety in enemies and also uh, weapons. I know I've got a pistol. Uh, I've got the machine gun. That's about it. I'm probably going to need to fall back to the machine gun at some point. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, no. So, more Quake 2. I, I, uh, I feel like in order to give a full picture of Quake 2, you have to not only just play that base game, but you do also need to, uh, uh, play the expansion. And, uh, let's have a drinking game. Uh, take a shot every time I try to do a pun involving I reckon. So, that doesn't count. But, like, you know... Every time I just say I reckon, I don't know. It's not a fun drinking game because it's just me saying the words. I tried to do a lot of uh, rhyming ones in the uh, the tweet, the announcement tweet. Look at this poor. G oh my gosh, hi there. You get there. Hi. I appreciate they can swim. But uh, where did this guy? Did he like fall down there? Did he, like Who knows. Uh, yeah, so the flashlight, by the way, um, no battery, you just kind of rock with it. Um, the, uh, the machine games levels, which we'll get into later, uh, will automatically turn it on and off when it's appropriate, but, uh, for now it's kind of just like, it's either there or it's not, depending on whether you want to use it. Where am I going? I'm, I went up here, and that was a side cut? Yes. It ain't unreal, we'll just say that. But let's not be negative Nancy and start talking about some positive things. So uh, so I'd like to uh, make a... It's not really an announcement. Um, uh, I've uh, put another retro achievement set for review. I picked up uh, Rayman Hoodlum's Revenge on the GBA, uh, which was a game that I had owned, but I'd never beaten. I never really... It, never, it didn't click with me as a kid. I never actually beat it at the time. Uh, but I played it. Uh, ish. Ish, because I'm making achievements, so I can sort of, you know, cheese it a little bit using memory to kind of get through bits quicker, or you're observing stuff anyways. Um, I, I still didn't really like it, and I remembered exactly why. It's an isometric platformer, just like the other game that I wrote Retro Achievements for, so I'm sort of typecasting myself a bit here by making isometric GBA platformers uh, <laughs> sets, but uh, I'm going to switch it up soon, don't worry. Um... I saw a guy up there. Yeah. Hi there. How you doing? You gonna come down here or? He's just gonna spit at me and call it a day. Listen, I don't miss the uh, the buildings because as much as I like cool outdoor areas, it's like, man, this is uh, no, I'm wandering around a bit. Shoot this. Oh, you can also come up here if you want. Oops. Whoops. Oh, get there. Get there. Do it. There we go. There we go. Got some good last minute goodies. They sort of look like a bit of a blob when they turn all yellow there, don't they? What am I looking at here? What? What, what am I actually looking at here? Hold on. Legit. What? Did I just pick up something? I think I picked up an adrenaline power-up, I think. I see that in my inventory. I don't know quite when I got it, but sure. Oh, hi there. So how few secrets could I find in the regular game? And here it's like, oh, there's two right there. There's my shadow. Very, very nice. 
Uh, but yeah, no, I've, I've uh, developed another set. It's currently in review, so uh, it might still be... I mean, it took like two months for the last... Uh, for the Dex's lab set that I did to finish review. Um, this is now sewers. I believe uh, we will go back and forth between some levels, so that's why there was a significant number of missed enemies there. Um, where? Where? Oh, hi. Jeez. <laughs> Alright. Um, this door opens nearby. That How nearby is that nearby? Oh, he's really gonna sit there. The hatches are open! There you go. Oh, we gotta we gotta have a fan on the ceiling. This, this you can't you can't make a Quake 2023 level without a fan on the ceiling. Alright, so that should yeah, that's just this door. That was actually very nearby. Good on him. Um but, uh, but yeah, so it might be a couple of months before that set is playable, uh, to the general public, but, uh, if you're a QA tester, uh, wink wink nudge nudge, uh, I'd like to get it reviewed, I guess, but, you know, there's a, there's a queue, I get it, so, that's all good. I'm gonna go this way, we'll see where we go. We had a choice of where to go, and I'm hoping that, uh, I've gone the right way. I still got my flashlight on. I don't know, it just kinda helps. It's funsies. This guy's kind of interesting to fight with just the shotgun. I'm pretty sure we have the super shotty this time. You know, by the time we were dealing with those guys. That's the thing with an expansion as well. You gotta double time it when it comes to the difficulty and everything. Well, there it is up there, so... Alright, how do we get up there? Probably through there. Is that a lift? Cause that's a, that's a, you know, a death laser. Can he jump that? Ooh, you might be able to, if I strafe on this. I'm s I swear. <laughs> I just see the one more to go and I go, oh. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't meant to jump there. Uh, but yeah. I, I really did actually enjoy doing the set. I had to... Uh, this one's on me for picking up a set with code notes existing and I had to sort of clear off some existing ones. Uh... I love you, whoever originally made the, uh, the, the code notes. Um, but like, yeah, it's like, oh my gosh, the, most of the code notes were, um, uh, based on the, um, uh, the save data. I ended up not using any of the save data and I instead tried to make all the achievements based on, um, just do stuff in the level. Um, the save data was a decent, like, starting point for just, like, understanding some things. Uh, I also, uh, employed, uh, doing, um, using a Ghidra a little bit to, uh, reverse some of the arm. I didn't, I, it's not really a full disassembly, I don't really know too much of what's going on. And I was sort of relying on the, um, the decompiler to turn it, you know, the arm assembly into some more C-like structures that I can actually understand a bit more. Uh, because I don't know my arm. Um, at least not based on the instructions. Um... But, uh, I was pretty alright at, like, going, hey, you know, these are labels, these have certain sizes, uh, the decompiler had a good shot of, uh, you know, guessing what, well, figuring out what everything was, especially when, uh, I looked at the save data a bit more and realized that there's, uh, more to it than just these loose numbers, but actually it was, a uh, um, yeah, this one, I, I always look at it and say, why is the button behind you there? Yeah. And then you just sort of go back up again and back on the other side. Yeah, I was thinking, I was like, these open up, don't they? Come on, get him out of there. Get him out, there we go. Um, but yeah, uh, so I don't exactly know what's the best way to share, like, Ghidra disassemblies. Uh, I, but really, I think the, the, the better thing that I have also, very nice level design right here. And then this puts regular water in, which allows us to cross the gap and press the button. Flood hatch switched. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi. There you go. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh my gosh, jeez. I had a bandolier. There we go. Very nice. Um, again, what's that? Three secrets? Jeez. 
Uh, so that's switched what hole I can go into, I guess. There we go. Uh, but yeah, no, the set's pretty, pretty alright in my eyes. I feel like there's, you know, maybe some... It's not like that significant, but just things like, you know, what's easy, what's hard when it comes to some of the challenges. Because um, uh, I put some time trial challenges in. Um, and, uh, your one thing we're doing a time trial is, you know, what time do you set? Is it, you know, something that is, you know, in the game or is it something I made up? And in my case, it's entirely made up. So I'm hoping that it's, uh, you know, easy enough for people to, to do on a couple of playthroughs. Um, but yeah, other than that, I also tried thinking of some ones for the, the bosses to make them a little more challenging. Oh, I'm gonna, like, totally drown here or something. Oh, alright. A little bit of oxygen poisoning, not that much, but a little bit. But that's how you get up here, I guess. As well as also, like, sh look at this, like... <laughs> what a bizarre bit where you have to, like, stand on the door there for a second. Makes sense, I guess. I'm not upset, I'm not angry. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, it was, it was good. It was, um, good to, to make that set. So, uh, 70 achievements. Hopefully, uh, people enjoy it. Um, I sort of made it very quickly, and I was actually surprised at how easily I made it. I think the, the, uh, this is a, this is a humble flex. My skills show no, no limits, but, uh, like, legit, it's like, after really knowing the tools, and especially just giving Ghidra a try to, like, I didn't use Ghidra to necessarily find all the memory, but it was very good at, like, well, we'll not get that double shotty just yet. Uh, but we're back. Oh, no, we're in the Waste Civ. We're <laughs> still going through another level that just looks like more sewer. He's going for a button? Come on, get him. Get him. There we go. Hi there. Um, but yeah, like, after, like, doing, um... You know, another game on the GBA and, and kind of understanding the ropes. Getting back into it was a lot easier the second time. Um, it was another GBA game, so I think that's also probably why it was a little simpler for me. Um, but in general as well, uh, also uh, no saves that I had to really worry about, you know. Like, it's a game where you can start every level from the beginning and just go with it. That, that, what a very cruel, like, sequence right here, by the way. I'm hoping I got enough ammo, but like, jeez. You know, at least I spammed some more ammo at the top, so... I'm not without something. Um... How's our shotguns and fools? Oh, hi there. This guy was not here when I was here before, was it? Overflow doors, are we going back down again? Probably. Not there, okay. Um... I guess I gotta swim through this again. <laughs> See, Half-Life did that a lot. Ah, there we go. Oh my gosh, what a swim. Can I breathe here? Oh my gosh, hi there. Oh my gosh. This is what I get for playing on hard, I guess. Um... I believe, uh, for reference as well, I, I never, I never made this clear in the, um, the, uh, the regular videos, but, uh, yeah, Quake 2's difficulty levels, uh, Nightmare was never an option on the menus for the mo for the longest time. It was more you'd go into the first level and you type, uh, skill 3 in the, um, console, and that would be how you lost most of my health. What? Where did it go? There's a little bit over here, that's like 10. Goodness, jeez. I guess I didn't have armor as well. Um, but yeah, most of the, uh, well, all of the, um, yeah, the, the hard difficulty is more the real hard difficulty. Like, it's, it's proper, that's, you know, the most enemies and... All that. Nightmare is just hard, but a little bit harder. A little bit more stuff. I love that fan, by the way. On the, on the far wall there. It's kind of neat. And there we go, there's another fan. Oh, oh yeah, I hate this room as well, because it sucks you down. Into this fan. 
but you are meant to swim up somehow. So let me give it another crack, but like, yeah, it's like, I don't know, I'm not expecting it. I just want to like swim up. And yeah, it's, yeah, oh my gosh, jeez. Because you can't like swim off that, but you want to try and hit those dudes, so we'll give it another go. In which case, I'll use my adrenaline. And this is, a uh, technically a ladder. I got some health up here. Valve B! Oh my gosh. Uh, whoop. There we go. Um, but yeah, yeah, so... Well, we'll see it in a bit. Uh, unlike the Dexas Lab game, I am a, a lot less inclined to play the Rayman game, but, uh... I won't say never, I'll just say, uh... You know, we're doing Dexas Lab first, what about that? Here's that fan, look how cool it is. Whoa! Very cool. Through the trenches, oh. And it explodes, of course, because why not? And there we go! Out of the wreckage! Oh, my best. Oh, that just exits? Okay. Where have we ended up that <laughs> exits? And what is this door going on? Oh, well, that's an elsewhere door. Okay, we're going back out here. Oh, no. You see what I mean? It's like, I can't tell what's an exit and what's not. It's, uh... I don't know. I, I get very Daikatana vibes. How about that? That's not a... That's less a rip on, on Daikatana. Sorry, that's less a rip on this game and more a... Uh, I think Daikatana is a much better game than people generally give credit. It could be because newer versions, like, people were very upset about the original releases of the games. And then by the time people sort of, you know, warmed up to it, it was like, well, media coverage has gone past. Um, I was chatting to a mate about a 14th gen Intel on Bestsofts, which uh, probably has a very similar uh, thing of, you know, the media go crazy over that. I, I'll still never fully understand. They were like... This isn't even a generation. It's just a refresh. And it's like, it's just like Coffee Lake. Like, and to some degree, um, whatever was it? Which one was 11th gen? I forgot, I forgot the name of the codename for 11th gen on desktop, but, um, just imagine that. And especially, like, it's not the same, you know, as the mobile generation. Security ladder. I do like me a good security ladder. Lots of enemies, jeez, tell you that. The door is open. Also check this out. Oh my boy, look at that. I'm understanding these secrets so easily, I tell you. Um But yeah, the um like with that release it was like, you know, oh it's just a refresh and it's you know, it's like a zero percent improvement after a year. What are you doing, Intel? But it's like the whole point of it was that it was a refresh. And and in in the absence of an AMD release is, you know, at least it's not like it's worse. What you know, it's it's not a regression at all. And there's not like there's been something better on AMD's end to make it like, you know, oh, there's no point in buying it. The only no point is if it costs more. But, like, right now, it's like, I don't know. I keep seeing 14,600Ks for going less than 13,600Ks we're going for. So, there's that. Uh, where was I going from to begin with? What was the original reason why I lumped into Intel? I don't know. I keep rambling about computer parts so much that I keep forgetting my train of thought. Moral of the story is... Um... Oh, Daikatana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, moral of the story is... Uh, I feel like Daikatana, I love how we're back in the swamp level, but, like, it's a very different part of this level. And it honestly could have just been two levels, right? Like, hold on. Which way can I go that will lead me to looking at the exact same... Like, no, this is, this is... Different wing of the level. Oh, yeah, because you remember there was, like, gates at the beginning? We might stumble across those. In a moment. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you remember? There was a gate, right, at the beginning of the level. 
the plot of this expansion, by the way, and the other one as well, to some degree, is that you play as a different person as part of the, the kind of Strike Force team. They got names. I don't know their names. Um, they all crash in different parts and all basically have to, you know, single handedly fight off hundreds of dudes and accomplish something. Um, which is sort of a gross oversimplification of the plot, but I don't know. To me, it kind of is that, isn't it? You know, you, you all play as a dude who grunts the same as, you know, before. Everyone likes a good laser security bridge, or, la or sentry bridge rather, with laser fields destroyed. I would really like my double shoddy, dang it. Uh, can I jump up into where that, yeah. There you go, very nice. There you go, secret three out of three. Wow, what a jump, what a leap. Uh, yeah. I would like to play Daikatana at some point, but I also don't want to, like, saturate my channel entirely with first-person shooters. So, yeah. There we go, that's the end of, uh, one of the units. That's a pretty good line, I'd say. We've got a lot of the secrets, I'll tell you that, so... Into the next area we go. You gotta acquire some data, why not? So... <laughs> You know, for a wilderness area, there was a lot of sewer. <laughs> the Counterfleet. Ooh. There we go. I still got the flashlight on in case. I don't know. I thought it'd be fun. People are gonna be like, what on earth? Is that a flashlight? In Quake 2? It's gonna like weird people out who have never played Quake 2 before and they're like, oh my, my goodness, the flashlight and it works better than Half-Life. Which people still play by the way. I love that after that um, that 25th anniversary kind of, you know, promotion on Steam and they gave it out for free. It's still got like at least like three or four times the, uh, the you know, play account more than any other Half-Life game right now. Um, unless you count Counter-Strike, which in that case, no. <laughs> Or Team Fortress 2, which also no. Or Portal, which is also no. Oh, I, l I forgot that wall. What a bait wall. I love it. It's just the whole wall slides out, like, both ways. So it covers both exits. Yeah, you see... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> But at least we got some interior design, finally. If only I had a double shotty, I could deal with these. Because the double shotty doesn't even, like, shoot that much slower. Unlike Doom's, you know, double shotgun. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't like to, I mean, I would like to play more first-person shooters on the channel. I don't want the whole channel to be just first-person shooters because I have a variety of games that I'm interested in. Um, I feel like I would really like to to show off more racing games, but uh, I don't know which ones would be the best ones to play. This is, yeah, this room is an absolute pain because I can't take these guys out quick enough. Oh my gosh, I think both of those guys just ran straight into- yeah, they did. They both ran straight into the lasers. Yeah, there's a guy up there. There you go. Okay. Okay. We'll get there. We're getting there. I gotta take out this guy. Hi there. How you doing? Whoa. Oh, I guess that's good enough. Uh... Hi there. I'm not sure where that guy was from, but... Sure. Okay. Drop down here. Ooh. Uh, sure, I guess. I was like, what am I doing up here? Oh. We'll follow him along later. Um. Yeah. Uh. Which ones would I like to play on my channel? Uh. Oh my gosh. Uh. I would really like to show off. Um. Uh, a Gran Turismo, but I know Gran Turismo is not a game that's 
particularly stream... Well, I guess it is stream friendly, but it's like, it's a very different kind of content. Where it's not like it, you don't just play for like... Also, check out this thing. Ooh, look at that. It's a relatively new enemy, isn't it? Um, yeah. I don't know how, like, streamer friendly it is. Because it's just like, you go in and then you do some kind of long form races. And then you, you know, you upgrade your cars and stuff like that. But then... I don't know, you, 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 you drive around the same tracks for a fair bit, it, it goes on for a fair bit. Oh, I was like, I was like, I know there's going to be some enemies and I shot completely wrong way. There we go, there we go. Um, so I'd like to try out some more. I know there's the, uh, the driver games. One and two. I'd like to maybe give both of those another re-go. I swear I got that guy. Did I not? And that guy. Hey, everybody likes a good ramp. Can I bump him into the lasers if I'm, like, good enough? Oh, you don't need to really. Uh, we got some, we got some computers. Like, yeah, where did that guy come from? He's just chilling up there again. There you go, got him again. Yeah, lots of enemies, aren't we? Hey, right, we got another fan. Woo! I reckon this fan is great. Take a shot, take a shot, I said it. That's that's not even like a pun. Oh yeah, here's a new enemy as well. We've got laser versions of just these guys. They, they're they not really that much, if at all, stronger, but they fire lasers, which will be absolute pains for later on when you know I'm gonna have that shield. Or not, if I never have that shield. I mean, I don't have it now, so... We'll see. Um... Yeah, uh, now, uh, I guess while I'm on this, the mild subject of, uh, computer hardware, uh, so we actually had the CES announcements, um, I talked mostly about the NVIDIA Supercards two weeks ago, and, uh, there, you know, last week we hadn't had the announcements yet. This week, or rather a, quite a while ago, they just dropped down on me, huh? Um, they, uh, yeah, they actually announced them now, so there's that. Um, the main thing I want to say is I was wrong on the pricing. It was actually what the leaks from a couple of days before were saying. I was thinking that was, uh, just too speculative. You know, people being very too hopeful that NVIDIA would actually release cards at a competitive price point, you know, with launch MSRPs. Uh, but no, they... That's a big button. Hey! Well, I've already got this, so I might as well use it. Use it or lose it. I appreciate chilling the enemy around the corner. Um, so yeah, so uh, for those who didn't see the announcement, 4070 Super, actually 600 US dollars. Uh, 4080 Super, uh, eight, sorry, 4070 Ti Super. Um, it's uh, 800 US dollars and the uh, 4080 Super, 1000 US dollars, uh, which is $200 less than uh, the MSRP of the uh, actual 4080 and uh, 150 less than what it actually runs with, so they are undercutting themselves quite a fair bit when that comes out in a couple of weeks, but we're going to have that 4070 Super come out first, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, the 4070 Ti is also set to be um, end of life, uh, not as in you won't get support for your existing 4070 Ti, I hope so, um, but, uh, but more that um, also I love how we got to grab the CD and then they just spawn a bunch of dudes behind me. Everyone likes a good old data CD. Where? They spawn the guys behind me as if I'm meant to go backwards. But there's no one back here. I'm meant to just keep going forward. Why would I do this? At least if you're doing an all kills run, you're going to be very confused. But then I already went into this room. Because, uh... Oh gosh, which way? Oh, this would have been an ages ago room? No. Hold on, I'm getting myself looped around. Uh, no, this is where I entered. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the compass is there if I choose it, uh, choose to, um, you know, leverage it. Be 
we go up here? I didn't go up here before, but uh, not much to really gain up there. Um, yeah, uh, release dates are as expected. Um, not really much to say about the cards, uh, but there is one thing, which is what did the competitor do? I did not look at all at the rumors. Um, someone I knew. Alright, okay, we'll use compass. Uh, keep going this way. Uh, someone I knew uh, did send me details or like the, the idea that there was going to be a 40, oh, sorry, a 7600 XT. Uh, what ended up happening was they announced the 7600 XT and it is literally the 7600 at 100 megahertz more on the game clock or the boost clock and it's got 16 gigs of VRAM. Running at the same speed and uh, which uh, I guess means that for the same use cases it probably won't be any worse. Everyone's favorite enemy, by the way. And I can't do anything about the the, um, the shield as well. It's just like there. Oh, but I love dodging those suits. Also, hi, grenade launcher. It's got a laser as well, which is good fun. Oh my gosh, there's a few of them over there. This is the risky part. You're firing grenades. And they're gonna, you know. Also, these enemies. Actually, I hate these ones, okay? Okay, you see that guy? That was like your regular old, you know, dude with a gun. Except he was firing an insta hit laser. Insta hit laser. Now, kind of annoying, because he's gonna drip your health when you don't want him to. But it gets super. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I'm crossing the beams. Oh my gosh. Are you meant to, like. Cross the laser beams like that? Do I have to go back and turn off the laser? I do, yes. <laughs> okay. Cool, because I was like, oh, can't really go in there either. Um, but, uh, but later on, there'll be a part. I mean, it's on the stream at some point, because if I, if I plan to beat the whole game, uh, it'll be sometime on the stream. Um, There'll be a, a room where there's like four of them on a high ledge and you can't like see the tops of them, but they can see each other. And that is the worst design room in this whole, this whole expansion. I hate it. I hate that one, that room so much. And I will share my frustrations when I get to it. Security door is unlocked. Oh, that's this door. Okay. What are we up against? Dudes? I don't No chill as well, and, and I would really love my double shotty. <laughs> what are you aiming at, bro? What are you aiming at? Try not to take, like, just random chip damage challenge. Oops. Um... But yeah, the the seventy the six yeah the seventy six hundred XT same thing, just you know double the VRAM, which is very nice for the people who do leverage that. Um, I don't think you really would for games. I'm a stalwart believer that by the time that amount of VRAM becomes good in games, there's this weird just limbo point where you might have a game run better on a card with more VRAM uh, at that point, but is not yet bad enough. Like, it doesn't run poorly enough that it doesn't justify the card at all. Like, there's no point in having a card with lots of VRAM if it's not fast enough. There's really not. And a card like this, which adds... Oh, hi there. Dang it. Actual quick load. Actual quick load. Um, a card with that much VRAM that isn't good enough, which this card is not in some cases. Um... But definitely isn't in some others. Um, oh yeah, we've got traps. Check it out. You like that trap? That's pretty cool. I actually, I love the effects. I love that. It turns into health. It's a stim pack. How cool is that? Only problem, uh, you don't get a lot of them. You, you really don't get a lot of those. So, they're fun. I would love to have more of them. Uh, this room looks familiar, doesn't it? I don't need to go back there. We need to keep going. Are there five goals? And five secrets. Lots of secrets. I wonder if that's a secret up there. Oh, it's gotta be a mini box somewhere. Really? I might have blown it up. Alright, speaking of blowing it up, let's tackle this guy head on. Dude, that's kind of... Oh, really? 
Take out this thing first. Take out the, uh, <laughs> the hit scanners. And this guy. Oh. Come on. Stop sucking. Oh. Stop sucking me. I don't want you to suck me. There you go. Um. So yeah, I, mm, I'm i not fully sold on, the, you know, that card needing 16 gigs of VRAM. On top of that, uh, the launch price is 330 US dollars, which is 60 more than the, uh, the 7600 uh, regular. And uh, I don't think that boost speed is particularly going to give it a lot of performance. I think the official AMD slides are really overselling it. I, I was like, ooh, check out that ramp. And there it is. Uh, I'm probably going to break my legs. Oh no, we're good. Bro, just turn off the alarm. Is there anything in the water here while we're at it as well? Prime real estate right here. Check this out. Ooh. Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping, boy. He jump. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> They're coming from all over. There you go. Um... So I don't know, I'm not completely sold on it. That price as well puts it $30 US above the 76, sorry, above the uh, the 4060 as well. So now, Nvidia gets to pull the whole, you know, well AMD can't do the whole, it's faster. Give me one more, um. There it is. There they are. Um. Yeah, AMD can't pull the whole, oh, it's faster and it costs less, because it doesn't in this case. Uh, which means that now the NVIDIA people might be like, yeah, I don't mind like 10% less, but I have all these extra features. Because it is, and it arguably would be, you know, better per frame, maybe. Maybe. Depends. Um, certainly if you're going to pull the whole, it's got DLSS and stuff, you know, you're not going to be sold by an AMD card anyways, but you're really not going to be sold by this card. Uh, oh yeah, this is the part that I, I always found confusing as well going through this. Is that like, okay, we got like another door here, which leads into more room there. And you had that ledge, which dropped down before. Everyone's favorite enemies. Eh. 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 I mean, these guys are lasers as well, so that's not fun, is it? And then you get told off that you haven't you haven't done the secondary objective. You gotta you gotta get the cubes. Return the cubes, man. Return the cubes. Um, so yeah. Uh, now, as much as I want to say I'm disappointed in AMD, I'm also disappointed in Intel because where Battle Mage? Where like give us a peek, give us a sneak, give us give us the goods. Apparently I can walk through a very dimly lit corridor just to not be able to throw a switch. I'm glad they let you walk all the way down there. Okay, hopefully the goal of the unit is set in stone right there. Okay, we've got a ledge down this way. Hi there. But at least I've got a super shotty. Which is sort of what, you know, what we all need in life. Oh, okay. That's another suppressor, which I never, I never use the suppressors. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Intel, no battle mage, so I'm a little more disappointed than that one. Um, it'll come, it'll come soon. But I think these are Nvidia cards, in the absence of really anything else, because also these these Nvidia cards don't compete with, um, you know, any new AMD card. Well, I mean, sorry. They they compete with the existing AMD cards at better price points, so that means AMD's got to drop their prices, because that's the only way that you're going to compete. And uh, for me, the 7600 is, in Australia, I'm not even joking, is the same price as a 4060 already. I don't know why. There's barely any stock. It's, like, mostly gone. And, okay. I do like this level. This level's fun. I do remember this one. But I do hate these enemies, I tell ya. Uh, so it's a core reactor, yes. We're gonna have another one of these. Um, and the gimmick with this level is that, uh, you keep going around in a, uh, well, like a half circle. 
So you got like a force for that. And we got a big dude. Why not? But I got the double shotty, so. We can handle it. No, we can't. Maybe a. Uh... Grenade? Grenades, help me out. Alright, good to know. That's eight grenades. <laughs> Had, I, was, I was counting in my head. I was like, how many have we got going on there? Um, lots of first aids that are only uh, 10 healing as well. We got that guy up there. Hmm. That guy's just going to be a pain. Oh, hi there. Less of a pain, because uh, I can always super shot you this one. But that one up there, nah, no, go no dice. Go fast taken out. Um, so yeah, I don't want to. I, I really hate that. Like, I do come off. I, <laughs> I come off as a fanboy. But like, I legit like I say things that I know are probably like much more Nvidia biased in general. Oh, also this guy is shooting a, a different weapon, which uh, we haven't seen yet because it's a. Uh, well, we haven't gotten it yet. We'll get there. I want to get there. I want to get there. Let's get a drop down. So I, I like how we're just going, you know, around in a bit of a loop right now. Well, we haven't gotten in a loop yet because we've changed our, uh, you know, our Y level, our height. Is that a regular shotgun right there? Oops. There we go, there we go. Good stuff. One power core. Was that just one right there? Hold on, what's the button for the items? Z. Nope. X. Oh. Oh well, I thought I had a button there. I know there is a button somewhere. Just, I don't know. <laughs> well, we've turned off the lasers to go here, and now we're gonna deal with big guy. Very, very inconvenient spot. Okay, okay. <laughs> How do we take out the big the dudes up there? And we'll just machine gun them. We'll probably go up there in a bit when this comes back down. There we go. Very nice, very, very nice. Uh, but yeah, the actual cool stuff out of sea. Oh, whoops. The actual real cool stuff out of CES is probably in the monitor space. Uh, I feel like I saw one person say, why isn't anyone talking about the monitors? People are. You gotta just, you know, some people were excited for graphics cards, and for some odd reason, they're writing about graphics cards. Even though there's not that many, and the supers are not stuff you've never seen before. They're literally the same cards uh, that you've seen at better... Oh my gosh, hold on. Hold on, did you see, you see how much, like, random enemies just spawned as like, I hate that. I hate how many dudes just keep like appearing. It's like, come on. They're not even like, you know, they're not even spawning in. They are always there on the map, but it's like, I just want to go up here in peace, jump up here, not up here. I want to go around this way, drop down, get my adrenaline. Now I can take out this guy. There we go. Uh, but yeah, the, the big winner is uh, really the, the monitors. Um, the key uh, selling point is uh, OLED is apparently the big thing these days. OLED being a new screen tech. Oh my gosh, geez, 30 damage off that one thing. I know I don't have armor, but still. Uh, OLED is uh, sort of the new fancy technology, which is providing sort of the best of every world right now. You're able to do fast refresh rates uh, with very little smearing, if at all, you know, none of that. Um, wow, that's actually, that's 20 damage from the bullets as well. Seriously, you gotta save scum past these guys, because there's no way you're gonna you know, make it to the whole game if you're taking damage from them. Seriously, that's insane. 
And this guy ain't helping either. Seriously, again, that's like 10 damage right there. I mean, we're nearly done with most of these enemies, but still, it's just like, I don't know. But when you respawn enemies in the same locations, you know, there's no health. Because I've already used it. Throws the switch. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. Do you do you like do you like reviving enemies? Cause uh this game sure likes it again. I got a little bit of health, I guess. Either I'm riding this really fine every single time, or this actually is a bit like tighter of a expansion than it used to be. I don't remember it being this tight, but maybe maybe it is. So now we got both cues, we can now return to the beginning and A. I was like, hmm, under the stairs. Hopefully there's no enemies that they just spawned over here. These aren't even like the respawn, like the revive enemies, they're just dudes. We decided to spawn on a high place. Which way was the way to the start again? It wasn't this year. Oh, this way, because we got the the lift. Which way was it? I'll wander around for a little bit longer. I'll find it. Here? No, that was where I came in. Here? No, that was also where I came in. And this goes down. Uh... <laughs> I'm getting myself so turned around. Okay, so I, I knew it was all the way over here, but... Oh, they closed the door on me. Oh. Oh? Oh, I'm in the other heart. Oh my gosh, it's like a H. It's a H shape. Oh my gosh, jeez. Didn't even click in my head what's going on. Oh my gosh. These revive enemies are, I tell ya. Um, but yeah, uh, OLED seems to be the big thing. I have not personally used OLED, so uh, some people who are really selling it, I mean, you know, it seems cool on paper. I'll definitely tell you that. Uh, oh, hi there. Um, it seems cool on paper, because you seem to get the best out of everything. You want 4K that runs at high refresh rates, you got it. And you want low smearing, you got it. Also, you want HDR, you got it. Like, seems to be doing a lot of the good stuff right there. Uh, and even not for crazy prices? Like, you're getting crazy prices, because, uh, the, the, I guess the King Spec monitor that I saw was, um, I think it was a, an Asus monitor, I think. Uh, and it was 1440p, 32 inch, 480 hertz. We also have another monitor that's um, uh, 480 hertz um, at 1080p, but it's also uh, optionally depending on. Uh, uh, um, but also, sorry, yeah, it's uh, it's 32 inch, it's 1080p to uh, 480 hertz. Uh, and alternatively can be switched to 4K 240. So you get both a 4K 32 inch display and a, uh, a 1080p 480 hertz display if you want 480 hertz. Um, obviously you gotta be in the right selling point to you know, really care about that. But if you're the kind of person who wants that best of both worlds scenario in one monitor, that seems pretty cool. And I don't believe they're going for crazy prices. Maybe, you know, the average person who buys a monitor you know, and, and I, I mean like the really average person, like, you know, if you just like, oh, I want to buy a monitor to get into stuff, it's like, these are definitely going to be outside your price range. But if you're looking for like, bleeding edge technology, it's like, yeah, they, they could be so much worse than I think. And I think it's because everyone is going in at the same time. They know they can't charge each other, you know, crazy amounts for monitors, because they know the competitor is going to, you know, not do it as bad as that, so... Very nice. What level are we in as well? The warehouse. 72 enemies. So many. I see rebreather. Or environment suit. Whichever one. 
Oh, I need the green key. Are we doing this again? We're getting colored keys. Seriously, that, that is a very claustrophobic space for two dudes like that. Also, hi there. At least they're, they're, you know, wearing different uniforms, so I can at least tell they're the annoying ones. Oh. Also, the ogres are always slow. Well, not they're not like that slow, but they're slow enough that... Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him. Oops. Alright. Rocket launcher. I've only got five roll kits. This is a, a not an ideal spot. There we go. There's a couple more roll kits. I should really use the grenades again. What are they gonna What is your most ideal rocket launcher enemy? Regular grunt, yep. No. And then they proceed to put you in a tight room where you know there's gonna be an enemy right in front of you. It's the worst scenario for a rocket launcher. Dude, it, uh, legit, legit. The bouncing around the walls is incredibly annoying. And then, like, yeah, like, your health's gone, your health's gone. Your health's nearly gone, I might as well drop this. <laughs> like, legit. Ah. Oh. Excuse me? Hold on. Was he? Oh, he was up there. Ah. Oh. I, I think he was up there. Oh my gosh. Ah. I was like, ooh. There we go. Um. But yeah, lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff in the monitor space. Uh. Someone might be wondering. Can I actually run 1440p 480 hertz on my, uh, you know, my lowly uh, RTX graphics card? And the answer is, I actually think yes. I everyone runs the straight, uh, display stream compression these days um, on the higher resolution outputs, um, and uh, I mean I'm running it right now. I legit cannot notice. I it looks like not just like you know, clear enough in motion, it's like in stationary scenes, the compression seems to be, you know, stationary? I, I like, I can't, or rather, I can't even like spot the compression in, you know, in a stationary frame either because the algorithm is very good at knowing, oh, it's all, you know, it's all one solid image, but even then, uh, it's like, you know, it's temporally correct, it's, uh, Fairly consistent enough. I don't know. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of display stream compression. We've also gotten past the point where it's optional. I think pretty much everyone implements it because you do sort of really need it on your graphics card and your monitor. And these days, um, my old 1080 Ti did not support it, which is a you know a downside of the 1080 Ti. Um, I know it's old, and honestly, you know, it, it rocks good quality monitors without that, but. It's not quite perfect. Um, hi, where's the where's the lift? I think I remember this happening last time as well. It's like the lift is just not there. Oh, because it's that lift, yeah. Okay. I don't need that stinking lift. But I might... Um, hold on, so why did I activate that? Just to turn off that lift. Um... Oh. <laughs> Who turned off my flashlight, by the way? <laughs> Look at that, my red arm. Oh, hi there. Why am I, like, peering through the window here? Like, I'm a voyeur all of a sudden. <laughs> Um, I do want to get over there. If I had to guess, it would be in this room, right? Yeah, there it is. 
Yeah. Get, get over there. There we go. Beep. Vent. Oh. When the Quake 2 is sussy. Haha, ha, funny. It's, it's from Angel to God. Among Us is a game that uh, I did not really play very much of. Uh, I played bits. The sussy is, you know, what a weird thing. I, that's a that's a mild gripe of mine, um, but just the whole. <laughs> that's 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 good fun. Uh, it's a mild gripe of mine, but it's like, bro, just say the word suspicious. He's acting suspicious, or, you know, like I don't know. Is there like a new word? I guess sus is just like the natural. You know, that's what the kids say. It's like one syllable. He's sus, and that's it. Um, to me, they're, they're, they're ruining, uh, you know, God's great language. They're ruining English. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I'm a purist when it comes to languages, though. I'm just like, I don't know. You gotta really, like, stretch if you want to try and change it on me. I'll oh, check it out. A green key. It's green, so that's how you know that, that's the key. Everyone likes a good old uh, water turbine as well. So now, I gotta remember how on earth I get all the way back there. Oh, hi there. How are you doing? I, I can't even recall what was this corridor, let alone... Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So then where does this connect on the other side? Storage tank, door sealed, lower the water levels for... Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I mean, I've been to this room, but like... It's gonna be nigh impossible to hit these guys with grenades. Oh. Yeah, nah. Oh. I did hit the other guy with it though, so that's neat. Seriously, this one is... I thought that door would open on me. Come on. Ah. Alright, I need to get over there because this is the beginning of the level. Oh my goodness. We've wrapped around a fair bit, haven't we? Gonna need these health, health boys though. Uh, we're good. So storage tank water level has been low. Okay, so now I need to go back to that button. Like legit, hold on, I know there's a guy right over there who's about to like, pound me. And I knew that was gonna be a, a, a wall that dropped down. So we'll just go all the way back and they've just opened up a couple of- no, they haven't. Oh, hi there. Storage tank door is now open. Uh, which one's the storage tank door? Now I gotta walk all the way back? No, I gotta drop down. That is a bit of a drop, I'm sorry. Wait, what's the save drop here? What's, what a strange, uh, objective, I guess. Okay, okay. This level's a bit too complex. They're pointing me around in some weird directions, I tell ya. Are we still- no, I- no, I went too far? I went too far? Yeah, no, I went too far? Where are we going? This way... Ladder. Oh, this one door. That was- that was it. That was the whole point. Just to open that one door. I- I don't really like these fish. They scare me. I don't like them. I need I need to keep going, man. I'm sorry. Seriously, wow, what a swim! It's not like they put a rebreather right there at the beginning of the area. I just completely ignored it. All right, and we're back to nope. We got a new another level. Was this intelligence center? Oh my gosh, the only intelligence is hit in here is these guys for having a weapon that can bounce around corners. Seriously, they've thought of this long and hard and they went, yep, he's gonna come around a corner. We need to get him because he's gonna He's gonna come around a corner. That's it. Oh, hi And they also realized that I'd come out of ladders Too bad. I got mine. We got an ion ripper. Ion ripper. I don't want to say iron ripper because otherwise then it's like if I You know, was it ion maiden, iron maiden. You see how this works? I believe this does like a chunky amount of damage and it uses uh, two? 
two ammo, which is very comfy, actually. That's a very comfy amount of ammo. I think, yeah, do you have to, hold on, do you have to watch out for it hitting yourself? No, you don't. You don't even have to worry about it hitting yourself. Very nice. So this is sort of a, I mean, intelligence center, you know. Makes sense that it's the kind of, you know, temple environment. Wow, just lots of snaking corridors. Wow. You really outdid yourselves. That sounds like a boss. Hi there. This is that boss from the beginning of the game. From the first game. Do you remember? He, do he didn't have a shield in that one. I don't remember him having a shield. He doesn't have a shield anymore. Let's uh, switch to the rocket launcher because I know a uh, big guy rockets easy. Or even the grenades might just be easier. Oh, oh was that a homing rockets? There's two of them. There's two of them. Alright, we got one. We got one. They're not too bad. Um, yeah, monos are cool. It's a yes. Uh, that's kind of it. That's really all I had to talk about this week. Not too much has happened. Um, it's still January, so usually you don't get too many things going on. Um, but I'm right back into the thick of it, so, you know, the year is progressing. Uh, and, uh... You know, we, we keep going on, but uh, it's January. It's not like that far in. If someone's gonna do like, who's the who's the one Twitter account like progress indicator? We're only four percent through the year. Every stream I do is roughly about two percent more. Uh, oops! I hit I hit the button. Yeah, up. I'll just use a rocket for the sake of it. There you go. Very nice. Good thing there's not a third one lying around that corner, or else I'd be very upset. There's not. This is the kind of big environment, though. They really wanted you to spend more time taking them out. Instead, I'm just like, oh no, I got... You know, I got rockets. I got grenades. That's all I need. You can use this a bit more. Ooh. <laughs> These guys do duck, so <laughs> you gotta be careful. Aim at their legs. I, I love that that worked. I love that it's just like, oh, yeah, around the corner. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, let's go down the ladder. Push button. You were not there before. They really need to not just spawn them just out in the middle of nowhere. I feel like I'm going to be using this weapon pretty much the whole game. Jeez. Uh, this is where I started, but at least I get some health. I'm glad I got some health so I can continue what I started. Oh, I guess we're at the end. Some, with some grenades, why not? A little bit of armor. Is there anything behind this wall? This seems very, uh, lucrative. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. They be hiding some cheeky. They definitely be hiding some cheeky. How do you, mmm, how do you... How to get over. Oh well. Well, that's the end of uh, that unit. That was a bit longer. That was a. Like, dude, 279 kills. Oh my gosh, jeez. Uh, but that was like, I mean, that was five proper levels. So I think it's one of the longer ones. Continue on the good fight. Exiting the military compound. Everyone likes continuing on. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one. I still feel like the level design is a bit like, yeah, you know, it's more of the same. This is a fun weapon, though. Destroy it, the fuel production facility. Oh, he's 
gonna try his best to dodge this. The problem is these projectiles are too fast, so they don't dodge them quite like, you know, they'd want to. Especially that guy, he does Oh, hi there. Oh, we got another trap, a T-Rap. Very nice. This seems like a very ominously wide area. Oh, hi there! <laughs> if only I had a BFG on me. Not as oh, yeah, you see, you see this? You see this? Who cares about this big guy? Even though he did just hit me with a rocket. Who cares about the big guy? Because uh, the, the little dudes with the lasers are always the worst. Whoop. It's been a while since we've seen these guys, haven't we? We didn't even... I don't think we've seen them at all so far. They're not that fun to hit with the uh, projectile, though, I'll tell you that. Although they do take their time with a uh, machine gun, but that's okay. That's okay. There's plenty of health and bullets around. It's fine. It's fine. I missed me a good old open scenario, though, I'll tell you that. Gosh, jeez. Uh, get some rockets. <laughs> I shot his head off with a rocket, of course. I mean, that usually happens. Like, I don't know. I'm always... A, it, <laughs> wow, this sounds very bad out of context. I'm always surprised by how, you know, how ballistics respond to the human body. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? It's like... It's like, my brain thinks explosion, you're dead, but, uh, it's a lot more nuanced than that. You see, uh, yeah, this is, this is the room, by the way. This is particularly the room. Because you got this guy up here, who's giving you pain, and you go into this room, and you've got a guy, like, right over there, who's shooting, like, bouncy projectiles at you. You got dudes jumping all over the place. You got this upper level that you don't really know how you can deal with, and you got a dude just right there. Lasering you. Oh, yeah, there's a dude up there as well. Just just a reminder We good no because there's a guy up there and Then you think you're good, but there's you got you know one of these guys like I can barely progress in this room without spotting So many enemies all over the shop. There are so many of them who are just like You know picking you off and you can't see these dudes They're hiding around corners It's a, yeah, I, I think it'd be actually this room not that it's hard it's that it's just ah, oh, it's, it's so many. It might not even it might not even be this room, but it's that's the principle. That's the uh, you know what's making me complain. I guess uh, we need a red key card in order to co uh, continue here, and I believe we've got an upper and a lower level. Uh, I appreciate I've got to hit the button. Very nice. We need a green card to enter this way. These areas are much more uh, expansive and perhaps uh, labyrinthian than uh, Quake 2's regular levels were, but you know, we, we get there. We make fly. Okay, so we go up and we get a green key card. We got a red armor, very nice, which I'll <laughs> promptly lose because I drop down. Okay, let's go. But uh, but yeah, no, I, I don't know. I feel like January is a nice, comfy time. Uh, I guess for us in Australia, you know, the the heat is starting to die down, but not really. It depends on where you are and who you are. We got an we got another tank. Oh, can I can I lay a trap? Get trapped. That trap didn't really trap him, did it? Uh, let's just get him with a grenade. He's like Scuttlebug returning home right now. I'm getting him. I'm getting him with something. He's still got his shield though. Am I really doing damage to him or is he just... Buggering off to sitting there, we go. Now the shield's gone. 
Nope, the shield is back. There's not a guy just reviving a shield, is there? I, I really hope there's not. Come on. Come on, get him. Get him. Get him. You know, there's a reason why there were only one of these guys in Quake 2. There you go. I can still hear him whirring. Now he's gone. He's gone. Also, we got this cool weapon, the phalanx. That sounds a bit of uh, phallic. We're gonna have dudes come up. They'll let me showcase this weapon. Maybe not, but they'll they'll probably spawn on the way back. Maybe. If I had to describe this weapon, it's like the ma worst place to use it because it does explode. Uh, it's like um. The weapons the Mancubi use in Doom. You'll see in a hot second. You'll see in a hot second. It's a bit slow. Uh, but at least its ammo is exclusive, unlike the other weapons. So, you know there'll be some, some, you know, some uses of... Oh my gosh, like... Get him! Get him! Get him! Who would win the la Oh my gosh, the, the laser guy won. Amazing. We are in the outer base. Everyone likes a good old- Oh my gosh, hi there. <laughs> Excuse me sir, that was a little bit of a- Cheap shot, I'm not gonna lie. What a, what a mean placement as well. Like, right as you start the level, he's not at all, you know, in your line, in your peripheral line. Can I trap these guys? Is this, like, too excessive to trap? Get him! Oh, no, I gotta swim back to it. Get him! Get him! I got something. Me, uh, can, can I get my flesh bag? There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, let's look at this max logs in places. So is that? Oh, oh, hi there. Wait, were you there just a second ago? What was he really? I think I made that up. All the way here just to stand on this platform. I like these ships that fly over. So now we just gotta figure out a way to get back out. Oh, they had a ladder right here. Very nice. Oop, there we go. And then I missed the jump. Uh, oh my gosh. Getting turned around, I tell ya. Do I do- do I do my own DSP impressions? This game! It- I, I can't do a terrible impression of him. Um, <laughs> I don't watch enough of his stuff. So it's a meme on him. I feel like I, I don't know, like like as someone who doesn't watch and I don't know, I don't I don't gain much, uh, or I don't gain it really. What the? Oh my gosh! I don't particularly gain uh, enjoyment from like riffing on someone that I don't really know about. Uh, oh hey, we got an old school blaster, don't we? I do prefer the other one though. Can you not ride this up and there we go. I, yeah, I do prefer the, um, the Ion Ripper, though. Very nice. Uh, sure. So we gotta find a red control key. How about, how about you use your red laser to control society? Because apparently it works so well. Like, oh my gosh, like, I just walk in here, there's like 50 bajillion enemies going on. And you got corridors, and you got to deal with the railgunner guys. Oh my gosh. Quake to the Reckoning. I reckon I'd be complaining about all these enemies. Or particularly just the placements, because it's the same enemies. I don't remember Quake 2 being this kind of egregious in some of its enemy placement, but... Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, here's another example. I walk into that room, 
Where was I taking damage from? That's right. Um, there. That little tiny guy. You see what I mean by like, it's... Because you... This game's not really about hitting people from that far away. But when it comes to... When it comes to the laser guys, it is. It... It has become that. There's, a, there's another one. Again. Like, oh my gosh. Like, excuse me. Just... Just stop. It's not the worst to, you know, just shoot them, but... You've only got a couple of weapons that shoot them. And if you're either out of ammo or you're just not actively using it... You know, you're a little caught out. Uh, good thing I got this. I can finally hit people. Oh my gosh, what, what a jump. Oh, excuse me. Mankind's greatest, you know, greatest soldier right there. Where did he come from? That's, that's another just teleport in. Oh my, please, please. Just cool it. Cool it with the lasers, please. All this work just to be able to, you know, go around on the high ledge now. Oh, hi there. We'll go old school. There you go. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess if there's one thing, you know, you buy Quake 2 and you get this nowadays. You don't have to, like, think about it. But I guess, unlike Quake 1, where it's... it's its expansions, I felt, were much more, um, I guess, meaningful, and at least, like, substantially different. This is, uh, Quake 2. It's got a couple of, uh, items, but, uh, generally, the maps, I feel, are on the not-as-strong side. Uh, oh, check out this, this item, by the way. Might as well use it now. What this weapon does is uh, it lets you fire twice as fast. The dual fire damage. I think... I don't believe it does double damage. It's just you fire twice as fast. Maybe you do, actually. But it's kind of it's kind of nutty if you're going to use, say, the chain gun. Because then it's just like... <laughs> Goodbye, ammo. <laughs> yeah. That's the most fun. That's the most fun you could do with it, though. It's worth it. It's worth it. I thought that was like blood pools on the ground, but no, that's just red lighting. This is fun, though. Actually, hold on. Hey! <laughs> Am I about to find a secret from the wrong side, or? Well, there's adrenaline. Yeah, okay, so that's where that was. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where am I snooping around? Alright, that lo that loops. Yeah, I totally am fighting from the wrong side, am I? Help, we didn't intend for the hole to be just big enough to fit through. <laughs> yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. They didn't intend for the hole to be that big to fit through. They didn't intend for the hole to be that big to fit through. <sighs> I'm docking points, Yatrix. I'm docking points. I'm docking points. That's a first name, Docs, by the way. Very nice. <laughs> Did you be yeah, okay. Alright. I, I always love that, like, I, I should really, like, have a, um, I don't know, a VM or installation of some kind that's just, like, got, like, a screen name. Because I'm always, like, I'm always self-conscious about, like, um, when you've got your, uh, your, uh, I mean, I, I don't know, like, uh, it, it's actually, it's a, it's a lot better because a lot of people's, um, Windows accounts, uh, you log in with your Microsoft account, and the computer will just immediately start off with, the first five letters of your email address, which it's like, bro, I, privacy, please. One, why do I need an email address in order to start using my computer? 
really why. And it turns out with enough, you know, prodding and prying, you can get Windows to not care. To a certain extent, it keeps bugging you about it, but it at least lets you start using the computer. It used to be just at least one setting when you installed that you'd ignore the email address. Nowadays, it's horrendous. It's real atrocious. Um, again, there's a lift that's not on the, on the right side, I guess. Oops. There you go, there you go. Um, but yeah, as well, it's just like, you know, oh my gosh. This is gonna get kind of annoying, isn't it? I hear a guy and I hope he's not just behind me. Oh my gosh, like, I just wanna hit this, yeah. No, this poor guy. Oh, was he in the pod or? I, I like to think he was collided with that. Um, but yeah, it's it's like, I don't know, Would it would be a lot simpler if, uh, you know, I could just set like a screen name or something um, for my profile and I'd just be like done with it. Instead it's, well, I mean, I know, I know, I know, here is me with the first name, I know. I should really set it to like a screen name, but even then it's like, if I want to protect my privacy from the internet, it's like either I've got to do everything under, under a single you know, Monica, a single, like, username Monica, or, um, you know, I, I take stole, what's the term, not stole it, but, like, I, I'm super conscious about, like, when that d displays on screen. There you go, red key, all that work just for the red key as well. 72 kills, though. I do appreciate that it, oh, I do appreciate that they at least designed the level in a pretty, you know, a pretty smooth loop. It's even got this outside. Oh my god, you get. This is the worst. This is the worst. Here I am. I just want to leave, and instead, nah. We're going to take off all your armor. And you know they're going to respawn some enemies on my way back. They're like, oh, he's here, and he's got the key. be easier to drop down, I guess. I don't remember this music playing last time, no. But, um... Yeah. I gotta be, I gotta be crazy super conscious about the, uh, the first name showing up, because I know, uh... I don't know, I, I... I see more people doxing others on the internet these days. Like, people legit, like... Alright, legit, legit, like, real talk. You know, if you dox people, real lose a move. I, like, I don't care who, I don't, I even don't care if they dox other people, I guess. I don't know. My principles tell me doxing is, is very bad. Uh, there's a certain part of me who is like, yeah, if someone is, like, super obnoxious, then, you know, you know, like, is it okay? And I'm like, no, I prefer other forms of public humiliation than doxing. Uh, because doxing, you know, can be harmful. It can't, uh, uh, sorry, not even can be. It, it is, you know, one step away from literally inciting harm on someone. Because um, now, it's, you know, people are like, hey, now I know where you live. That kind of stuff. Or even just like identity docs. It's like, I intentionally keep my, you know, I try to keep my name, my details away. Although someone would definitely go, hey, I know your first name. But, uh... Yeah. Like... I like this map. This map's actually kind of fun. The refinery. Because I think you go around and you basically go all these, like, kind of... Pools of... Goop everywhere. And various pathways that don't necessarily... I mean, they loop back or they... Actually, no, sorry, I take it back. Because it's full of doors that you just can't go into. And then you get told that you're done. You can go into the next door. Oh, come on. I want to pick. I want to get him. There you go. Dude, I love this thing. I swear. And then you just get more ammo for it. I still don't have a shield, by the way. This might be one of the... Oh, yeah. That definitely was one of those rooms. Yeah. Okay. That, that's another one. When was that guy behind me? First of all. 
He was not. And then you want to try and go into this room, and you got a bajillion rocket people. A bajillion of the rocket chicks. The Ion Maidens, if you will. <laughs> you want to go back? Nah, we spawned an enemy behind you. Uh, screw you. It's like, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I don't want to be the kind of guy who's just like, doxing is okay in some scenarios. Uh, so, I, I don't know. It, I, I'm not very good at like, you know, internet principles. Because I'm just kind of like, yeah, some people are really annoying. The doxing sucks. Nah, nah, nah. I, uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend it. I'm gonna say, you can't, oh sorry, I'm not gonna defend it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely say, no doxing, no circumstances. Do other forms of public humiliation. Legit. Prove them wrong. Say that, call them poopy duck butthead. But no doxing. No doxing. <laughs> We're not going there. Oh, hi there. Is that my name? Gex? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We'll, we'll get to that one at some point. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I see so many people doxing. Like, um, uh, did anyone see the the one? Um, there's this one guy on, on Twitter, and I know it's, it's like, yeah, most of the doxing happens on. It either, not necessarily it happens on Twixing, because I've seen like some sites uh, which are legitimately designed. Be like doxing. Oh, I need an airstrike marker. I believe that's somewhere else on this level, and I come back for it. That's a rebreather. Um, yeah, no, it's telling me way over there. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's this one guy on Twitter, and like all he does is he replies to people and just says like, "This is what you would look like if you're black or Asian." And does like a like a like a big fake swap, just to race swap them. And I don't know, like, it's, it's so, like, harmless, I feel. It's just like, I mean, other than he's replying to these people, but like, you know, in the grand scheme of things, there's so many worse things that could, like, actually happen to your public Twitter. Being replied to by this guy is like, yeah, that's fine. Some guy freaking, like, either, you know, and I guess there's a the thing with doxing is that, like, I don't 100% know if you can actually validate you know, the details that someone gets doxxed, and I'm not looking into that. I don't really want to look into it. Some guy literally goes, here's your house address, here's the front of your house according to Google Maps, and uh, here's a picture of you. Oh, hi, I've got to, I've got to leave, I've got to go to a different level. Very nice, very fun. Recon 4, be advised, Gex continuing on southerly track 2 complex. I love how that's, that's intended. I, I'm pretty sure we grabbed something, and now we can wander back through these existing levels. There's a, there's a guy right there. Um, yeah, this is a kind of annoying section of the game, is it? We put backtracking in. This is this is relatively needless backtracking as well. Now, yeah, like I've just got to listen to this guy, make sure I, I understand where the water treatment plant is on the map. Which, for reference, is only through this door. And now it turns off, just because that one guy, you know, was killed. That's it. That's all it is. That's some needless backtracking right there, if I tell you. Um, but, uh, yeah, some guy says all this stuff. Anyway, he then he then replies to this guy who docks his information. This is what I would look like if I was black or Chinese. And what a, what a legendary response. Like, massive kudos to this kid, because, one, he is a kid. Most people on the internet, I still feel, are kids. Like, legit. Like, not, well, not like, you know, juveniles, but more just like... Teenagers? Or just like people who just like, you know, have a lot of time. And have the ability to like... You know, learn things and do crazy stuff on the internet. Like, that's fun. That's fine. But like, just, you know... I'm freaking like harass people on the internet. Like, I don't know, you got no frame of reference, bro. This kid, he's out there making stuff. He's at least saying wacky stuff on the internet. But you can't, I don't know, talk to them, bro. Like, one, better things to do with your life. And two, like, this kid. Oh. So, moral of the story is no doxing. Doxing bad. People don't do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend that. I'm gonna, well, defend the opinion. I'm gonna say, 
Uh, <laughs> it ain't it ain't on. Rocket. Oh, I don't need rockets because I've not been using them. I believe that's an item that increases your backpack capacity, and uh, I've yet to pick that up. So that's why. Why am I getting so tossed and turned around? Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta do this thing where I push the button and then go. <laughs> Can I hit someone right here? Oh, nope. Oh. Into another map we go. Oh, we did it. We did it again. We just walk right into a map. We walk right into it. Is there another one? I'm pretty sure there's more than just that guy as well. There's someone down there. Do you, you see that? Yeah. What the heck? Like, oh my gosh, what, a, what an obnoxious ledge. Ugh. Ugh. I'm complaining about every enemy place when I tell you. I'm going to check if there's fish, because I really want to see if there's fish. Give me the fish. There's no fish. Very disappointed. Every time I swap to the minigun, it's because the minigun is 5 and I'm trying to smack F5 to save. <laughs> This room is not helping my, uh, fear of these dudes. Well, it's not really fear, it's more like a... Well, it could be a fear if it's irrational. I don't think it's irrational, though. I just really hate these enemies. Like... Mm, what, is it, what are they doing up there? Ah, oh, I just wanna, like... I just wanna walk through a room and instead I'm getting, like, ceiling snipes. There's so many of these dudes, aren't there? There's another one up there. He's just like all the way up there. Come on, man. And again, like look at that. If, if I'm running out of... I think it actually might be this room. This is actually the one. It's like, I, I just want to like... I have to hit that guy from so far away. Alright, we're good there. Oh, no. We've still got, we've still got one more. Hold on. I think we're good now. I think we're actually good. We've gotten all of them. Oh my goodness, jeez. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like the the other the other weird thing on Twitter as well. Like is like I don't know. People are so vitriolic, very there, but also definitely on other sides. I don't know. I don't know. Like I. I get tired. I get very tired of that, of people doing that. So all I do on the internet now is I look, I rarely say things to people, and uh, I produce Twitch streams like this, and uh, YouTube content, and I call it a day, because uh, I don't know. I'm old. I'm getting very old. I'm turning a very old age this year. Oh my gosh, hi there. I was stuck in that corner. Oh. Seriously, again, again, like, all these enemies come out of the wood woodworks have just... I mean, that time, at least, there's a monster closet, but again, it's right behind me. Did I not call that at the beginning, by the way? I was like, I remember there being so many monster closets, and this is, uh, this is that. This is, uh, emblematic. I wanna, I wanna get him with the far thing. You know what? I think I have to get him with the Ion Ripper. In my attempts to use any other weapon, it's the Ion Ripper that I have to rely on, because that's the only one there. Also did that? Oh no, it's just lighting. Okay. Gotta do kind of weird stuff like that as well. Oh my- Look. I- I'm- I'm a little flabbergasted. I don't think you got any, like, selective choice. Oh my goodness. I, I, I'm... Partially, I'm a little bit tired. And partially, I'm just like, wow. I really, like... 
the worst part as well, they can hit you on such like oblique angles. The hatches are open. <sighs> my hatred, my absolute hatred of the laser dudes. Uh, which one was the maintenance hatch? I dropped that ladder. I think. We just, we just jump it. We just go. We just be jumping. Got a railgun. Uh, I've got this hatch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll try it again. I'll try it again. Remember, I'm going to the end of this thing. We're only on unit three. I imagine they pick up, but there we go. All to get this, which, granted, I appreciate the red armor. And then I appreciate the drop that lets me lose a little bit of the red armor, but sure. Okay. I like how I walk straight through his uh, ammo pickup, by the way. His little energy cells. Didn't even, didn't even get it. Yeah, that's the one thing with this weapon, is that you will accidentally just shoot things around you. We got water, but like, what's the point of the water? We'll, we'll probably investigate that soon. I don't know, let's talk about something positive, I don't know, I'm trying to, trying to figure it out, I don't know, it seemed like... Lots of, lots of people who have downtime or something going on at the beginning of the year, and they're like, yep. Turn it into negative vibes, negative energy. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm turning stuff into positive stuff with that retro achievement set. Uh, have I played anything else casually this week? I don't particularly think I have, and that's maybe that might be the source of my negativity for the week. Oh, it, 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 they just drop from the sky. They're dropping from the sky. They, I mean, they're not the laser guys. But they're dropping from the sky. And the worst part as well, I remember doing this and one of them just did not, like, fall. So he was still up there with all of his, you know, all those dudettes. I see all these items as well up there and I'm like, like, you got the mega health there, there's like something chilling up there. I really want to figure out how you get those, but... Alright, well, let's go in. Uh... I could probably go, yeah, I was like, I was like, hmm, there's ammo, there's... Grab a couple of those, but we'll use this for a bit, because, uh... It's a handy dandy weapon. If it can aim straight, that's the only problem. Sometimes, you land your mark, and sometimes you don't. The splash damage exists, but it is a bit minimal. Well, we're nearly done with this level, at least. Secondary floodgate, okay. Got a funny number on screen, very, very nice. <laughs> I, mm. I just instinctively left clicked. I apologize, I'm just like. Some, that was just a fat finger, that was just a, like. Ugh. <laughs> also, excuse me, I see you up there. There you go. Oh my god! <laughs> the jump! The leap! That was a leap and a half. He's just chilling up there. I'm like, how do you- how do you get him? He's just- he's just vibing. There you go. I mean, I guess they're in the water. They're gonna chase me. There you go. Or the game forgot to get them to chase me and instead they're like, nah, you there's one more. There's one more. Somewhere. Oh, I must have blown him up. Okay. Um, but yeah. Alright, we gotta find something positive. Uh, I mean, hardware is cool. I've already talked about that. Uh, yeah, at some point I gotta play another game. I blistered my um, uh, index finger. Uh, <laughs> I've been trying to learn bass guitar. And I've listed my index finger, trying to pick. Oh, he's in the water! Get out of there! Um, and that sort of let me, like, you know, I'm out of commission on playing bass for a bit. So 
it's not the worst blister, but it's on an existing like, spot that's like sensitive, so. And it is right on the picking part, so. Well, sorry, on the on the blacking part. I mean, I could use a pick, I guess. But, uh, I don't know. I, I, I want to learn how to use fingers. Um, I gotta learn tone right now, because as I play bass, it sounds very bass. Like... Seven secrets in that level, jeez. Hi there, we we asked for another another level. Why not? This is the bad lands. These lands are very bad. This one goes on my list again. This room. Did, did I just see another one? Did I just hear another one or? I'm just venting on the inside because it's just like I can't casually like this this level pack this really is demanding more focus out of me than like I would have expected like I breathe through Quake 2 I can like just you know, play Quake 2 and just be like yep no it's all good but here it's 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 a bit of a mouthful oh you know what's one positive thing I'm gonna shout out there's a guy who left a comment on uh my second Rayman 2 stream uh shout out to you man uh he left a good long one, and he did say one thing of like, how, you know, like, you know, I play through these games, and a lot of people play through these games. And I actually agree with this, where a lot of people play through these games, and, um, you know, it takes them, like, many more hours than my streams. And, uh, the question is, it's like, oh, like, do we, I, oh, I guess, what's the, what's the balance point of, like, do we just suck, or, um, you know, like, how are you just so good? The answer is... I'm not that good, but a lot of games are a ton easier on a second playthrough, and you'd be surprised how fast you can beat games on your replaythroughs. If you've played a game and you found it was like, you know, a great experience, uh, just at some point, I, I, I always recommend this, just go back and like give it a go again. This time with uh, your new understanding of how its mechanics work, see how well it holds up. Unfortunately, not all games do hold up, which is a bit of a shame, but... I'd say Rayman 2 is one of those that like definitely gets better on replays in my mind and it's already a good game it's not it's not like you don't you know if you don't replay it you're missing out but more um I think this is going to be another one of just these levels they, they just said yep we've got a uh we've got an outdoor level let's spawn a bajillion of these guys hi how you doing oh snap there you go, a bit of an airborne hit there. Hey, you just got a regular old fish in there. Is this like a way you can like sequence break? Nah, almost. Almost, but not quite. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say that. I am not like... I mean, I, I would consider myself a better than average gamer because there's a lot of games I play on harder difficulties. I'm playing this on hard and I feel like I play this game pretty alright, albeit safe's coming a ton. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Listen, I'm gonna drown if I go forward. Uh, I yeah, albeit I save scum a ton in this game, but like I at least have my you know like I played enough old boomer first person shooters that I know my senses around. I used to get so turned around in this level the first two times I played it as well. Um, but yeah, especially on a replay, that's when I'm a lot more confident in you know what a game is about. And what, how to how to play a game, what its levels are structured like, uh, like that that was a pro that was a pro shot right there. That's what the you feel that it's like an actual like frame rate jump then. Huh. Yeah, you land on this ledge, and to me, it just doesn't look like you're actually anywhere new. But no, you definitely are. You know what? Levels with these guys is levels without the laser guys. I appreciate that. Will it get out of the cave? Yeah, that's sort of giving a lot of like freebie items and things like that. Uh... 
Oh, it's tight, tight. Um, you know one game that I actually would like to do retro achievements for? This is again, it's like, I, did I go anywhere? And the answer is, uh, yeah, you just gotta stand here and wait for the stalactites to fall. And then let this guy terrorize you for a little bit. Um... Uh, one game that I would like to do achievements for is, uh, the Sega Saturn version of Hexen. Doesn't have any. Or was it the PlayStation version? It was one of those versions. I definitely know it. The Saturn version, yes. But if the PlayStation version is, uh... Also off limits, and I might get that a go. Um, Hexen's a game that I uh, have already played on the channel, and maybe I'll replay at some point. But yeah, again, too many first-person shooters. I mentioned that at the beginning. Um, but uh, I would like to, to give it a go. Um, there's the chanting again. Oh yeah, the chanting around the, uh, the airstrike beacon. There it is. I mean, at least they've designed a little bit of a set piece. And it's not that wild a scenario to take out these dudes. So... I don't mind it. I don't mind it. You get you get a pass, Yatrix. You get a pass on this one. Uh, I think you gotta jump to it from the high ledge, though, so... Loop around. Or, uh, not, because it's literally right here. There we go. The airstrike marker. And now we gotta do the long lap back to that one spot, in that one map. Seriously, this weapon is like a bit too good. <laughs> do, do, do. Um, yeah, I know, I'd like to give that one a go. Uh, I know it's, uh, it's, uh, not good practice to like, you know, try and work on sets while you're waiting for once to review. I do hope that with a... Uh, uh, I'm trying to show off good expertise with writing retro achievement sets, uh, so hopefully I can encourage them at some point to get into the full developer status and as I'm getting stuff for review I can think about and work on other sets. Um, in the meantime I guess I'll just sit tired and play more stuff, that's all good. Uh, but yeah, I haven't exactly been playing more stuff. It's just been, you know, same old. Me, just chilling. I think it's because I've actually gotten back into work. That's probably why. I, like, crammed a bunch of games during my, uh, off time. And, uh, yeah. Okay, well, I, that's the beginning of the level, but... Isn't there a better exit? Uh, you're really scraping the bottom of the bow when you got two secrets, right? Just opposite each other like that, but sure, okay. Here we go, wandering around. There you go, that's a better exit, ain't it? Yeah, I think these were the only enemies in the entire level, just these guys. Uh... Well, I, I like that I can stand up here, but again, is that three secrets right at the end of a level? Okay, out we go. We are now in the refinery, which I believe is actually where the fuel, the, uh, the marker, you know, is meant to go. So, at least we got that, but we're going to come into the level from a, from an angle that I have not yet, uh, been before. So, I was thinking there was much more to this level than that, now. so. Well, that's a good sound right there. Let's use the, uh, the phalanx. Get out of here. Or it. I don't know, it's a robot. Who knows? This is, yeah, again, it's just like, here I am, backtracking through a, There's a dead enemy from before, but... I feel like someone might say, why is the backtracking in this not good, but the backtracking in... This is the beginning of the level. Um, but the backtracking in Metroid Prime is okay. And to that, I would say, the reason why it works in Metroid Prime is... Eight times out of ten, you are going back to an area of the map that you've been to, you know. Oh, like, I'm looking around, I'm like, where is anyone? And it's just this chick up here. I got it. I got it. It's all good. Is there one over there? Oh, nah. 
Um, the reason why it works in Metroid Prime is because most of the time your backtracking only leads you back to, uh, you know, a very little path. Uh, I guess in theory, if you don't know where you're going, then yes, you are going to look around a, a bunch more than, you know, if you do know where you're going. But in general, it's mostly good, uh, except for the boost wall. Uh, I'm probably gonna get down from here. How, f how much of the area do you have to leave? Can I just like look at it? There it is. Yeah, I could I could have looked at that. I like how they opened this door behind me. Oops. Locate transportation out. Okay, sure. I do like me a good old transportation. I, I have that from time to time. What as many grenades as I'd expect as well. Where are all these... Yeah. Um, is this the way to go, for reference? Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. I was like... I, I don't know. My brain was farting right there. Uh, old school. Give him the rip. Give him the rip. Um, yeah. No, I, I'm... Yeah, I... I don't know where I'm going. I'm just rambling about retro tune and stuff. I love retro tune. Great sight. Disclaimer, I give him Patreon money. That's it. Listen, I don't I don't give Patreon money to a ton of things, because I'm usually like most things, I don't know, passion project, stuff like that. But like legit, it's like, I don't know, when it's a good passion project, I I'm all up for just like funding it for uh, you know, keeping it up. You know, they gotta run servers. Uh, here we go. Okay, well, pfft. I've literally got no health to go. One health to go, so sure, okay. Um, again, like, where are you meant to drop? Here we go, blue key. Um, okay, I guess we go back down. Now we got a blue key, so it's like, oh, no, nope, sorry. Nope, there was something back there. Why did I grab a blue key for? I don't know, man. I'm I'm getting tossed around now. I tell ya. It's at it's at that time of night. We're almost at two hours, which I don't know. It's kind of getting to me as like oh, we're still on like unit three, but I'll get there. All right, we're nearly free. We're nearly free of. This. Come on. Come out of there. There you go. Whoop, down the slope. Please, no laser guys. <laughs> Good old Iron Ripper. I'll, I'll never get tired of this weapon though, I'll tell ya. Do these guys have different, like, rocket launchers? I don't remember them being green on the on the outsides. Oh well. Uh, I mean, that's goodies up there, but... What? Again, with the spawning enemies behind me. Again, with the spawning rail gun. Oh my gosh, that was actually atrocious, I'm sorry. <laughs> That was one of those, like, I don't know, like, because I'm at 100 and, you know, like, 56 health, and he got me with, like, two clean railgun shots right there. And it was all over. It's like, uh, I've lost, like, too much. Uh, okay, well, the exit's there. We got... Really? No secrets around the outside? Or I just don't know. Top of the train to you. Nah, no, not really, not really. Okay. 
seal for transit. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. And away we go. So, I do like me a good train section, though. 357, 47 enemies. Oh my gosh, I can read. <laughs> Seriously, they, they are dragging these units out. Out of the industrial region and into the spaceport. Ooh, I like me a good spaceport. Very nice. Hi. So now we must. <laughs> 94 enemies, oh my gosh. Hope you enjoy just losing all your health right there. What can. Yeah, I was like, what convinced this door to open up what convinces very nice oh I want to get that oh well oh well yeah hopefully we don't have a uh, too many laser guys too many enemies with lasers all over the shop because I swear Jumping about, jumping about. <laughs> uh, might as well see if I can try and get that. Um, I think from here. Probably. Mm. Uh, it needs to be slightly higher. I like these box sounds though. There you go. It was like 10 armor, wasn't it? Where was this guy hiding? Where was he hiding the whole time? But alas, force field. Okay, cool. So we're going this way. There's, there's just two enemies hiding behind a little... I just found a secret somewhere in there. I think. <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, oh my gosh, jeez. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Shotgun. Oh my god, oh my gosh, there goes the armor. It's all gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. It is specifically this room. This is the one I was thinking of. I was thinking it was a lot smaller. I remember it being a lot more square. This room. Because it's just like, what? Do they actually intend- Oh my gosh, where's my railgun? There it is. Uh, what do they actually intend for you as a player to do other than just- Chill here, try to spot just these little tiny ants on the ceiling. And there's like, I'm pretty sure there's another one up there. Yeah. Can we try and, try and spot another one up there or we're all good? I mean, you go up this, la this lift, but you're going to run into this room and be subject to them. While they're just popping you off from over there. It really frustrates me. Because you can't really run past them while they're just instant blasting you in that room. Yes, I noticed the health. I noticed it's, it's all gone away. I know that. Lots of corridors as well. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm getting jaded. I'm getting cynical over these guys. I, I apologize as well. If you work for Yatrix, and you spent your heart and soul on this. I apologize. It's frustrating. It is frustrating. I don't rip on it as like, you know, oh, I hate like what they've done. I don't know. It, it's just frustrating. There's so much more frustration. Invalid access code? Oh. Come on, grenades. Get him. Uh, sure, that works. That didn't work. Did you get him? Nice. Oh, I thought I got him. Alright, we're continuing on. Continuing on. Yeah. Poor, poor Yatrix devs, I don't know, I'm going harsh on them. Did they do uh, Black Ops Line later? 
Was that them? How many of the people are the same people? Who did uh, both Black Ops The Line and Quake 2 The Reckoning? I'm curious, I'm very curious. I'm just hearing like a bajillion enemies. Yep, yeah, up. Uh, mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> See what? Like I just, I just want to live. I just want peace and prosperity right there. Oh my goodness, this is insane. Oh, but you know what? The power shield is here. I should be using this now. So long, one weapon I kept using. The Ion Driver, the Ion Piler. I got a new friend. Okay, that opened that door all the way over there. Thank you, button for the door. So far away. Is there going to be a guy who drops out right behind? Oh, yeah. Hey! And the only thing as well is that you're dealing with people with energy weapons, which means they are going to drain your shield, I think, faster than you'd expect. Uh, let's just go with the... Rockets, I guess. Ah. <laughs> push button, push computer. Alright, uh, secondary objective. Proceed to the main freight elevator. I used to always say it's fright, and I was like, oh, it's fright, it's spooky. That's uh, a bit my own. Oh my gosh, excuse me. I always get thrown off by like two way lifts because I always just think, like, oh, one door. When I grow up, there were, you know, the only lifts I'd ever see are the, the one door lifts. You'd never see two door lifts. And then you go into like some fancy hotel or anything really, and you got a lift on both sides. You're like, whoa. That blew my mind. Can we get like three door lifts where they go in like all the directions or, you know, really wonker elevator that like, goes up ways, slant ways, sideways, you name it, it goes. Something like that. I remember getting stuck in a lift once. This is a this is a fun little story. I was with my family. We're on some kind of like uh, trip. I think we we're in Melbourne at the time. So thank you, Melbourne. You've given me the memory of getting stuck in a lift. Um, and uh, it was just my family, and uh, we missed breakfast as well, which was kind of sucky. Um, but. Uh, like, it wasn't all doom and gloom, but it was, like, we were in that lift for, like, either, like, 90 minutes or something. And we are just, like, stuck in it, and it's just, like, the, it's not the worst feeling. Because to me, I don't know, like, I, I know that, like, lifts have a bajillion safety precautions. Like, those things are, like, one, you know, like, you got, you got the brakes. Then you got the brakes brakes. Then you got, like, you know, the fact that, like, as you reach the bottom, you're pushing air up. Which means that the, the thing can't go... That fast. Ooh. In case you hadn't done it already, I guess. Um, and then I think on top of that, it's like... There's like a, a latch or something that you can do. Um, I don't know, there's, there's something associated, which is just like a, an extra layer on top. And it's like in order for like, you know, you to be in the lift and for you to be in like real, real serious danger, you got also the whole, like, what's the one thing of, like, um, you know, you gotta, like, cut a rope and suddenly, like, the whole lift is, like, gonna, like, fall down or something. And someone's just, like, again, it's just, like, you, you gotta, you know, what is it? It's, like, there's, like, multiple things and that rope ain't gonna snap that easily. Now, granted, you know, these systems are designed such that, yeah, well, not, sorry, they're not designed that one will fail, but it's more that, you know, Something will- where on earth am I going? I've killed most of the things. I'm still looking for the freight- oh, because I lowered the shield, yeah. I swear, I am going to rely on this compass more and more. Oh my gosh, please, please just end me. I hate these things. Um, but yeah, we were stuck in the lift for a while. 
Uh, my parents were flipping out because it's just like, don't like swing, don't like jump. Um, and uh, I was uh, like eight, I think. So, uh, yeah, I, I just did everything the opposite of what they said. And they were like panicking. Oh, what's up? What's up there? And I was just like, I'm, going, I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, I knew, I knew we were pretty safe. Also, we were on the ground floor. Like, eh, if we're going to fall... Ain't gonna fall that fast. Also, it's not like the thing like free drops if it were to to drop. I'm pretty sure it would have to ride down like something, right? Something is still counterweighing it. It's just not as counterweight as it should be. But it, I think that just means that you just don't fall as fast. You don't accelerate as fast. Because you're not just like a mass with nothing pulling against you. You got a counter mass going on. Look at that, a lift. Welcome to the hangars. Again, another 97 enemies. I'm always thrown off because like Quake 1 has like... Oh my gosh, please end me. Please end me. It should be illegal to like have like a, a laser weapon like that. And I I'm very certain... I'm very certain the 2023 levels will use these guys, and I'm gonna also hate it there. They tuck these like little like nooks and crannies with the armor everywhere, though. <laughs> you gotta keep your eyes eyes peeled for those. Um, yeah, I always note that like there's so many like movies where someone dies in a lift or an elevator for the uh, for the uh, Americans, um, <laughs> and. Uh, Legit, like, I don't know what's with, like... Is that an irrational fear? I don't know, because it is a closed-off space. I don't like the idea of being, you know, trapped in a closed-off space. The reason why we were stuck in the lift is because the doors wouldn't open. That's, like, you know... The unknown of not knowing on, you know, where you are... But the lift never moved. We, we went in the lift, doors closed, buttons didn't move us anywhere. Maybe that was probably what, what added to the, uh... Confusion was, uh, you think the buttons would, would get us somewhere. Like, sure, if the doors don't open, the doors don't open, but... Pretty sure, oh, I was like, I'm pretty sure he shot the barrel behind me. Um... Now, I guess that's the one thing, all these laser guys are dropping so much of the... Like, you know, the cells, that my armor is, like, constantly being charged up. I could probably switch onto the good old bullets. Old faithful right there. Can I grab that now? Ooh. Mm. Long jump. Oh, oh. We might have this. We might have this. Heck yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was impressive. That was it. That's, that's a little victories. Like having to not deal with these guys. Oh my gosh, please, please. I, I, I hate these lasers. I, oh. Seriously, I just want to live. And you got like a guy sitting up there. Like, look at how you do this. Like, it's so painful. So painful. Um, what's something else that like, I don't know, I know people are irrationally like afraid of being in. Roller coasters are certainly one of the more unsafe things. I get those a fair bit more. Um, I don't think all roller coasters are. I mean, they're certainly safe ones, and it's like, bro, you can count the number of people who die in a Disneyland, like, in a decade on one hand. And usually that's from people with poor health in a Disneyland who just go in because why not? Um, they, I'm pretty sure, like, when I went to, like, Disney World, they had a sign on the, um, the, the space mission. One, because uh, there were, you know someone had copped it, and they were like, "Yep, we don't want that." I don't. I, I mean, I don't know. Looking at the story, it feels like it's a combination of things, but definitely a you know it, those G forces are not good for you if you're you know under certain very particular you know physique, I guess. Actually, well, that implied that the kid was fat. It wasn't. He wasn't fat. He had like heart problems. But it was just like, he already had heart problems, and then, you know, I don't know. It feels, I don't know, it feels bad to speak ill 
Um, and I don't think it's particularly the kid's fault that uh, action had to be taken place against Disney World to prevent someone from having a, a massive, like, you know, heart problem after being on a ride. But, uh... Rip standing up there, you're, you're just like, oh, he's gonna come up to me and then I can blast him, and he just, like, comes at you straight with a with old railgun to the face. I do like me a good old railgun. Oh. I swear I just shot him and he just... Oh, I, I was ducking, it's okay. There he goes, swing back and forth. Um... But yeah, I know, I know roller coasters get a bit of a bad rap. I, I'm not a, like, I'm not a, I can go on any roller coaster kind of guy. I am, like, there's a degree of, uh, I want to keep my lunch. And, uh, I think the ones that go upside, I love how, I love how that is too low to jump back up. Very nice, very tasteful. Like, oh my gosh, like, again, it's just like, I just want to walk up to this guy and hit him with a shotgun. And instead, there's no... It's not very shotgunnable. Ah, oh, I complain about this all day. Um, but yeah, I'm not a like, I I can't do roller, you know, all roller coasters, particularly ones that go upside down or ones that are. I'm okay with the fast ones. I'm okay with very fast ones. Live food processing terminated. You're telling me that the people are food for the machines? I guess that's how that's how it, it works. That's how it, it works. I'm gonna really hate it when the AIs take over and they decide, hmm, yes, food. Like that. I mean, even if you're like, oh, maybe biofuel. That's their power. It's like I don't know. Humans are smart and industrious and uh, very subservient if you reward them quite right. And uh, I'm just saying, a freaking cow has so much more meat than a human does. Humans are relatively lean. You would not gain too much out of that. Unless, uh, it's not about the, uh... Again, another another room, by the way, with a bajillion laser guys right there. And a railgun guy, like, oh my god, oh my gosh. And they're coming up to, to greet me. Saying hi, give me some grenades, oh my gosh. Like, I just want to poke my head out. And instead, I keep getting distracted because something somewhere with a laser keeps, you know... Tapping me. There's just so many of them. Oh my goodness, please. But at least they all dropped so many of these, uh, you know, these cells. So at least there is that. I assume some of the actual drop offs are, like, sorry, some of the, uh, drops are also not. Also, what is this? Oh, I gotta find an alternative access point, so hold on, are we going into another level soon? I'm just doing this in the same level. Oh. That'd be like that chaining. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm not a very uh, roller coaster guy. Um, I guess most things at Disney World is, uh, I mean, Disney World isn't particularly a, a hallmark. Um, I haven't been to Queensland in ages. Queensland has a bunch of theme parks, and I've never been, uh, since I was, like, 10. It's been a while. I'm glad that that doesn't go down when you press the button. Oh, sorry, it, it doesn't... Some of the earlier lifts were behaving right, but then that one is like, uh, Hold on, where do we go? All the way back. This is... That is some very annoying backtracking right there. Especially with a guy who's like right there taking off all your health. I'm just gonna say follow the enemies, how about that? Or follow them to salvation, but like... Legit, it's like I'm just walking back through the same hallways with people right behind me. Constantly. Uh, the best part is that I know exactly what you gotta do. So now you're back in this room. 
I think you gotta, you gotta, do you have to drop down? Yeah, I think you still have to drop down. There you go, all for this one button, all for this one button. Uh, also, hello to everyone who just uh, <laughs> chimed in. We're playing Quick 2, The Reckoning, I just wanna, <laughs> just wanna mention. We're up to the point where they're canning people. Does anyone remember a game from way back in the day, like a Flash game called Can Your Pet? Um, there's a great uh, video from uh, Lukagen experiencing it for the first time. And I won't spoil it if you have, uh, haven't played it. So now, it says hatch open, and I believe... Uh, oh, I guess we're back up. Everyone likes a good old canning hatch. Oh, how do I get there? There you go. I was like, hmm, it's gotta be some way. Up the ladder. I hope you like claustrophobic bits right here. Oops. Hold on. You saw that right there. They put an ion ripper and then... Is there a comfy way to get back up or no? No. You just have to slide out and do it again. Well, let's not get the iron ripper. I don't need it. Well, you gotta can your pet, and I'm the pet. This is how this is how you do it, actually. I don't know. That's fun. It's very Half-Life of the game, isn't it? To have a whole like you hop into a container and you ship yourself away. At some point, we exit, but uh, we're getting there. There you go. And that's the end of the fourth world, the fourth unit. We're nearly there. We gotta secure the freighter, the freighter, as I always offer. The touchdown, jump out, and uh, we're in space, naturally. So uh, be prepared, as long as there's no laser people all over the place. It's not, it's not specifically laser people as well, it's just like... There's just so many like little grunts, and the little grunts always have you know, the easy to hit you items, the easy to hit you weapons. Uh, Doom's a classic, um, which maybe, one, you know, one day I'll show that off. But like, Doom's a classic where, like, also, hi there, literally every box has a hole. Every box has a hole. Every box has a hole. This one's not even a hole, it's just got slugs. And that's where I came in from. Okay, well, we'll just hop up. Oh, hi there. I mean, I know I'm holding on to my quad damage, but still. It's a secret, it counts. This isn't the same enemy, is it? Hi there. Um. So it's the same dudes, but instead of a railgun, it's a slightly easier to dodge... Arguably, I mean, they fire two shots, but they don't hit you as hard as the railgun either, so I don't mind that. I actually don't mind them shooting phalanx shots, other than they give me phalanx shots instead of slugs. Getting the trip over, very nice. Um, listen, there's only two of them. It's not that bad, they're just there. You can hit them with anything. Good thing we still need ladders in space. I remember seeing a thing, it was like, why do we have like ladders in space if they have no gravity? It's like, bro, they don't have gravity when they're on Earth. They're gonna need to climb into things when they're still on Earth. What are you doing? What are you, what are you all about? I don't know. I was commenting about like vitriol on the internet and sometimes the uh... Call it ignorance. Call it uh... Innocence. There's a lot of hilarious encounters on the internet. I don't know. The, the internet's a fun place. I, I don't know. Do I want to trade it? Uh, maybe actually. <laughs> I don't know. Not not the whole internet, but uh, I don't know. You, you know me. I push for for decentralized and that kind of stuff. So as I stream on Twitch and re-upload the video to YouTube, oh, I need a blue key. Dude, you can you can smell these monster cupboards from like 
they're, they're cupboards now, they're not closets. There's just so many of them that become cupboards. The only thing is that, yeah, they, they've got the shields, they take longer to take out, but... Hi there. Also, hi, these are just your, your old-fashioned lifts. Oh, you... How dare you Goomba stomp me, you're not allowed to do that. Now this is this is what I mean. It's like mm, there's not a lot of not a lot of room, not a lot of room. I mean, I guess you could use a double shotty to trip him over, but still, I want to use a rocket launcher. Oh, you know what? I, sh I should be using the grenade launcher because it's low grab. Oh my gosh, jeez, so many, so many grenades. So many grenades. There we go. Is that really your plan, just to launch a bajillion grenades? All of this just for that blue key. And you know, you know darn well they've activated a ton of stuff behind me. I'll try and get those. Oh well. How does one get those? Oh, there you go, just, just a clean jump. A very clean jump. There you go. Everyone likes a good space level, I guess. I, I, I guess that's probably why it's uh, treated as a separate unit in uh, this version. Whereas in the original game, uh, you know, there was no cutscene there, so... But it sort of makes sense, because it is a very different level. Completely disconnected from the rest. And only 54 enemies. Making it perhaps the smallest unit of them all. I hate lasers, I hate lasers. I was like, this would be a great place for the double fire, wouldn't it? And there it is, there's a, there's a double fire, a dual fire damage. Look at this little beaker right here. They put all the time to model a little tiny beaker. And uh, as we go through the... Oh, this is going to be a perfect room to use uh, this. Oh gosh, he's getting close, he's getting close. Alright, we're going back to the shotgun. Do I have enough? Do I have enough? Yes, just enough. <laughs> there we go. I do like this map. I think they put all their eggs in the basket and made a good space map. They did it. But I, you know why? It's because they don't have the monster closets. They, I keep, I keep nearly accidentally saying cupboards all the time. I take it back. I very take it back. The worst room known to man, right there. You've got you've got two big dudes right there. Hold on, I, I I need to breathe. You got. Oh my god! And the best part as well, you see that you are required to defeat every single one of them in order to continue and get out of here. But take it back. This level sucks now. Nah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Also, there's a very elite one there, but uh, I don't know. We've we've sort of been fighting enough like kind of super stronger enemies that I'm not phased by it right now. Uh, did that not count as one of the enemies? Oh, I guess it did. Okay. One, two. We must return them to the power core, to the system core. One in. This is fun though. <laughs> there it is. All right, we're going. We're jumping around at at the very. I don't know. I like this bit. I like it. Pop them in. 
Lights turn off. We have saved the day. And then we're just gonna touch down anyway. We're just gonna leave. Why not? Why not? Let's just leave. Let's just, 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 just get out of here. I do hate the confusing layout of these lifts though, I tell ya. There we are. Look at that. Exit out of here. Nice and fun, so. Alright, we're almost at the end. We've got one last unit. Which is to the moon! Although apparently we're still exiting the spaceport and now we're on the moon base. Counter strike. Oh, I don't want to play that. Terminate all opposition? Sure. What a fair way to start off a level. Get in there and uh, no low gravity and yes. Just laser guys all actually nope, sorry, still low gravity. Still on the moon. What am I talking about? I'm on the moon. There you go. Get, oh, come on, come on, trip over. Seriously, that's seven enemies right off the bat. Just I, I I've not even walked out of the you know the first room. Already just mogging me with bajillions of dudes. There's eight. There's eight right there. Where's my shotgun ammo? <laughs> it's, it's all gone. They're just giving me phalanx shots, which is fine. I guess we'll see if I can hit things with it. We're on the moon. I'm expecting big dudes all over the shop. Oh, hi. Did he just like drop down on me or like what? Just like... <laughs> oh. There's another, there's another laser guy right around the corner, just making me, making me cry on the inside. And that one was all me. What? Did you just walk under me or like what? I don't even know. Man. Who knows? I need you to warrior wombats and your battle kangaroo. I do need to use my warrior wombats and my battle kangaroo, but uh, I don't know if warrior wombats work on the moon. Using the most impractical kinds of, uh... Oh, I forgot, he's still there. A secret room? Excuse me, I'm still just taking out this one dude right up there. There we go. Catch his ammo. I've still got plenty of ammo left. Oh my gosh, there's bits everywhere. And I heard, I heard another dude. Hold on. It's up there somewhere. We'll be up there soon. Legit, that's half the enemies already. We're just vibing in this level. Just yoink. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no, I can see the exit, the end of the level, oh no, I can, I can tell they're, uh, that's a fun fact, if, if people don't know, that's how skyboxes are drawn, it's literally, it's texture, except instead of drawing a flat object that is, uh, transformed in three-dimensional space, it draws, it tells the renderer, you're doing a skybox now. Which is usually the no draw. Usually it, it, it's a flat, like, tell the, the thing, don't draw, and the skybox is rendered first. So you paint the skybox onto the screen first. This is... Yeah, so you, you draw the skybox, you go, based on your rotation and stuff, you draw the skybox, and then you draw every other object on top of it. Um, your renderer might be smart enough, privatization of the skybox engine... Oh, exactly, yeah. Your renderer might be smart enough to go, hey, the skybox shouldn't actually render right now because I'm not looking at any you know, textures at all, um, that are skybox textures, which is true and can probably happen. Let's get, oh, no, let's get with the phalanx here. I mean, he's a big, he's a big guy, but if you get in with, oh, oh, <laughs> I forgot. He takes, he takes a few more shots than just the sound. His arm's gonna fall off. And we got a force field. Um, but yeah, different games do uh, skyboxes differently, I guess, but uh, that is definitely how id Tech does it, so... Is it how the Kex engine does it? That is a good question. Um, I don't know. Do you like how these enemies are just suddenly subbed out with the not-as-bad versions of the enemies? I don't know. It's, it's very strange.
I appreciate kicking these guys with the, the phalanx as well. It's very fun. And an ammo pack in case you've been rocking with like no stuff. Oh, who's who's hiding here? BFG 10k? That's right, I get to use it like twice. Because I'm still using my uh my my uh armor pack. It does work though. I I do still like it. It's good fun. Thank you, BFG. Big friendly gun. Uh, let's take out these flying guys before they become too much of a hassle. And then, yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, da -da. But yeah, not that many love enemies in this level. Is it because it's a... I don't know. It, I get a very, like... I know it's not Quake 2 vibes yet. Sorry, Quake 3. It is Quake 2 vibes. You know, I wonder why. Um, but, like, legit, it's like... The, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, that... Mm, I know it's only one, so it's not like the worst thing in the world, but like legit. Just, that is, that is one of the most egregious places for a laser guy. Right there. Oh. I'm gonna complain every single time. Also, yes, that is indeed three different weapons that use your, uh, your energy. So, you'd, you'd like to know. Uh, we still got a couple of, like, little sub-levels going on here. So, we got this command center. We gotta disable the induction coils and lock down moon based thermal reactor. I, I do like this weapon though. It, this is overkill when they're supporting so many dudes. Ah, uh, yeah, we have a cave level. Because it's a, it's a moon mining rig. Ah, oh, and it's ice cave as well. I hope you like it. You're getting ice physics. You're going like, whoa! <laughs> Low gravity ice physics as well. Just just to just to top it off. You will you will go to places you would never experience. I feel like I should just commit to the railgun at this point. Come on, you can stop aiming now. There we go. What? And at this point, I don't know if they intended for the level to have you actually, like, wall ride this hard. But you kind of can. Like, hold on, let me just go around here. I, I love how they give you the rocket launcher. It's like, no, man, I'm going to accurately aim at people. Is that water on my moon base? Is that water on the moon? I guess it's, like, Strogos moon. It's, 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 not, it's not our actual moon. Mm, I mean, <laughs> I'm expecting it right now because the the whole level is filled with these guys. But still, actual platforming, nice. Yeah, legit. You know, the more I remember, the more I feel like they put all their eggs into the end of game basket. They, I think the level design sort of comes back around. Maybe, just maybe. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. We got we got two dudes on the opposite side. Yes! No! It's- it's three dudes! Oh... Get him with the phalanx again! As they drop all my stuff onto the little, you know, light show going on here. Uh... But yeah, I don't know. I feel like they- they might have turned the, uh, the level design around because, uh, I did remember the ice cave portion. Um, I do think these enemies sort of take their sweet time, you know, falling over though, but yeah, I don't know. In general, they're doing alright. Oh, yeah, I do remember this room. This reminds me of, um, this is a very Doom 64 room. I don't know. Again, we'll, you know, we'll get there. There are so many, this is the thing, is that I want to play more shooters, but if I play, like, one id game a year, it's like, yeah, I'll be here, like, forever, man. <laughs> I played, like, three last year? I don't know, I think I did. <laughs> Here's the other thing, though. I'm a big fan of rhythm games, and rhythm games are not fun for me to commentate over. I can sort of play some chill, but not all of them. Not, not a lot of them. There's some where it's just like, nah, man, I gotta head down, work on that. 
lot of these dudes that trip over though. And 46 enemies is a lot easier to manage than like very close to 100. The only thing is that I don't think there's as many levels in this area, but in this unit, but yeah, you know, we're at the end of the game. Hi, this almost looks like the same room as before, but trust me, it's not. Otherwise, I'd be very angry that these uh, laser dudes respawned. I think this is also why I thought I couldn't hit these guys, because I'm actually rocking the phalanx for most of the section. And it's like, yep, I can't aim at them. All of that just to push a button. Oh my gosh. But I do get you when you least expect it, and you can't hit them. Mm, you very can't hit them. I do like the low gravity ending to the game, though. <laughs> That's it's, it's quite neat. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to how to really feel about this one. Uh, maybe we'll see if I like it more than the uh, than the uh, ground zeros. Two more to go. Okay, sure. Yep. And we're up on the top. I feel like it's just I've I've not been pressing the buttons right. Alright, we're up over here, but this is a dead end, which means I think that there's probably a switch on the lower side of the other one. But I think all that, you know, culminates into exiting out of a, a door over here. Yeah, that door. We still got the, the, the music, the sonic distortion guy, he's still going. I don't know if, um, yeah, if they're like, tracks that were unused in places. Or if uh, some of it was written for these expansions. But I do appreciate that it at least fits and vibe pretty well. Oh, hi there. Hi there. How you doing? We should probably... Uh... Oh boy, he's got a BFG. Well, guess what? We can do both, by the way. He can't hand. Oh, no, he can't. There you go. Now he's going to break out into this little form. Or not. He's just dead. No, there he is. <laughs> Good old quick fire double damage. Oh my gosh, there he goes. Good old quick fire double damage. Now the core reactor is offline. We need to return to the cargo bay and exit the moon base. Uh, yes, I did see that as well. Where is a secret area? I don't know, man. Let's just leave. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we just need to get the heck out of Dodge, because that was actually the final boss. I'm not even kidding. That was it. It, it, was just, it was just the final boss again. This time now with overpowered weaponry. And, uh... Let's, uh... I saved it at the beginning of the level. <laughs> that's, that's what I love. I love that I, um... Yeah. You remember the slack tights and I was like, oh, good thing you're not running out fast. Yeah. That falls in your way and then it's like, oh, you gotta find like another way of going forward or something. So it's like, you drop off, you... Run around, like, like, you just gotta know. Come on, like... You gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be dedicated into taking out all your foes. No matter what you do, I guess. Whoop. This looks promising. And there you go. And that's it. That is indeed the end of uh, Quake 2 The Reckoning. We get it the heck out of Dodge after defeating that one dude and probably blowing up a moon base. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. I think they sort of redeemed themselves at the end. It's... it... it, it, it got better. But yeah, oh, the laser dudes. The laser dudes. Oh, very irritating, so... I think the other expansion, the other set of levels, will probably have very different changes, you know, like like uh, Quake One did. It's over. It's over. What's this Strog doing on board? Like something like that. I don't know. <laughs> it just ends in a proper like you did it. That's it. So. But there, yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's the reckoning. Um, yeah, the level to design. I don't know. Kind of annoying. I did like the new weapons. 
Um, I think they're neat. Uh, do we have a new enemy? No, it was sort of just the same enemies that shot differently. <laughs> and of course the laser dudes, so... Oh well. But, uh, but yeah. Samuel Villarreal. Heck yeah. I don't know if he had much to do with us uh, um, reporting this. I think it was just, you know, part and parcel. Port the port the, the regular Quake 2 and the expansion probably comes through pretty easily. How much scripting do you have to do? Because I, I was thinking to myself, it's like, I think Quake 2, you actually have to compile to native. So I feel like Quake 2 is actually a trickier one than the other games. I don't know, oh, that's just Quake 1 and I'm mixing it up in my mind. Whichever the case, I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this or you enjoyed me rambling or uh, any of the stuff, uh, you can feel free to follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube where you'll see the VOD in 24 hours or so. It'll, it'll get there eventually. Uh, and uh, yeah, there'll be more Quake 2 tomorrow. We've got another expansion. I got to do the Quake 64 afterwards. And then uh, we'll do the uh, machine games levels. So that'll be good fun. Um, and uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going on for a bit. There'll be more stuff afterwards as well, don't worry. Just stuff every week, pretty much. That's it. Once a week. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, I hope you have a very wonderful day yourself, or a very wonderful week yourself as well. The whole week. Um, if things are going good, make sure they keep going good. If, uh, you know, if, if you're intrigued by Quake 2, I recommend, you know, give it a pick up, or share any other kind of game experience you got. Um, that's pretty much it. Or any general experience i didn't talk about music at all i didn't really listen to much music but we'll listen to more stuff in the future so stay safe eat your greens don't stay up too late like i did apparently and uh don't 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 fall on the struggle scanning machine i don't know see ya <laughs>